Hello. Good morning, Ron. And good morning, Lynn. Hello, hello, everybody. It is Monday. I... I made a lot of toast. <laughs> I made a sandwich and some and, and and several slices of toast because we had what so kind of bread? Uh, it's a uh, it's ancient grain, so it's got like grains and fiber and stuff in it. That's that's the bread we mostly buy. Oh, nice. We sometimes get Canadian rye. Get but you the fiber. We sometimes get Canadian rye, but I I mostly save that for like grilled cheese. But um, freaking so. Jester doesn't like uh, the butt of the bread, the the ends, and I only like them when they're toasted. So we had several like butt, like bread butts. So I just toasted. Um, huh. I just toasted all of them, uh, and like lightly buttered them, and like butt bread makes the best toast because usually. Um, the, 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 the outer side of the butt bread is usually gets nice and toasty, but because it's like, you know, the, 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 the butt, um, you're, you're, you're like the center of it, depending on how thick it's cut, can still be nice and soft. And then like, it, it can be soft and toasty and buttery. And I think I really like that. That was... So I so I had a couple slices of toast, and now I have my sandwich, and I'm just kind of like, man, that was some fire ass toast. <laughs> that was some some good ass toast. Heck yeah. Like be people people be slap people be sleeping on toast. Toast is so good. It really is. All right. But yeah. Last time, and by that I mean last week on Tuesday, yeah, we finished the main story of Seven Remake. Wednesday. Wednesday, yes, that was Tuesday. Wednesday, we finished, we finished the main story of Remake, but we still have one more thing we need to do, and that's intermission. Intermission obviously takes place somewhere during Remake or after Remake. I'm not quite sure. But it stars Yuffie. And what I'm really, really curious about is where Yuffie stands in all this. Um... So for those who didn't play Final Fantasy IV, um, VII originally, Yuffie is a completely optional character. You do not have to get her. You can play the whole game and never have her. That being said, most people, because the chances of running into her are relatively pretty big, you will probably most likely get her. Um, but you don't have to. Given her setup in Crisis Core, I'd assume she's just being a slapstick city ninja. Yeah. Now, that's the thing. Her and Vincent, as Seven has become its own sub-franchise in Final Fantasy, have gotten a good number of additional material to help integrate them into the story um, and make them a part of the cast. A, 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 um, they are no longer, at this point, optional characters. They are just as ingrained in the story and a part of it, and another cog in it, in the lore and of the, uh, the machine of the lore of blah, 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 as any other character in the game. Because you could also never get Vincent in the game originally. Um, you could play the whole game and just never get him. Um, because yeah. that, was, that was usually a thing back then with games. It was that 
They had secret characters where if you got them, you would get some additional story and stuff. But it was generally it was generally known that you didn't get them. And if you didn't know anybody who got them until strategy guides became a thing, you wouldn't know that they would exist. Um And maybe until you see promo images. And you're like, who are these two fuckers? I didn't get them. But either way. They are usually bonuses. They are essentially the game rewarding the player for exploring and going out of their way to do certain things by giving them a pretty decent character. That being said, Vincent, I would probably say, is the least for... I accidentally turned off my mic. Vincent, I would say, is probably the least fortunate of the two. Because despite getting his own game, it was not well received. It was apparently not a good game. Which is really funny because I remember around the time I was hearing about Dirge of Cerberus, I think Shadow the Hedgehog had originally come out too around that time. And I was just like, they're the same game. <laughs> <laughs> with a different coat of paint. It was not a good game. Had solid visuals, though. Yeah, had solid visual visuals. Obviously, it told you Vincent's story. Um, How, you know, the whole conspiracy with Shinra and the Genova Project and all that went so much deeper and far longer than most people even really thought. Um, Gave a little bit of nuance into the whole thing of, like, the circumstances of Sephiroth's birth, um, and all that. Um, but Lynn be played Dirge of Cerberus, and it mostly showed you that Vincent is absolutely the kind of character that only works in small doses. Mm -hmm. I want to say, I, well, that's sad but funny. I, I want to say that, like, again, this is as someone who's not played Shadow the Hedgehog. Again, the, 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 the when I looked at both games, <laughs> I was just like, I'm playing a dark, edgy guy with a gun. <laughs> they look like yeah. the same game. <laughs> but, either way. Hmm. But Yuffie didn't get... Does Vincent run on walls? Yeah, he kind of does. But, um... But Yuffie didn't really get anything like that. Yuffie just kind of got a lot of cameos and things. You know, she was in Kingdom Hearts. She was in, um... She appeared in a lot of subsidiary things. She was a relatively popular character. And, um, she appeared a lot in Crisis Core. Not as anything important, but it was kind of, like, slightly gaggy, silly, you know, Zack having to deal with a, a child while still being a soldier. Um, so, we, we, we got a more lighthearted thing with Yuffie. Um, un until this. Whatever this is going to be. Other than that, all we've gotten from Yuffie in terms of the actual game, I don't know, a bit of Crisis Core, is that she is the daughter of the leader of Wutai, which, uh, in her own words, makes her the princess of the Wutai. Uh, she considers herself yeah. to be the strongest ninja in, the, in all of Wutai. Um... And hey. she is a trouble hunter. <laughs> and she is a she is a treasure hunter and a little troublemaker. She was probably around 10 years old, around the time she met Zack. I think by the time seven happens, she is about 16 to 18. Yeah. Um. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. We don't really know anything more about her. <laughs> we don't really get much else information. She's just, you know. She's, she's just kind of peppy, happy ninja girl. That's it. 
So I'm, I'm interested to see where this goes. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as long as the main story for Seven. Um, it'll probably, maybe, I feel like it'll only be worth a stream or two, because at the end of the day, this is DLC. But what I thought was very weird about this DLC, but at the same time, not too surprised, was that it was PS5 exclusive. Meaning that if you bought Remake for PS4, you just don't get to have this. <laughs> Which is dumb. But obviously now with the PC port, we have it, we can play it. We can see what's up with Yuffie, but as far as I know, I, yeah, but as far as I know, this is probably Yuffie's adventures in Midgar, but why is she here? <laughs> so like before we do our default, uh, yeah, so we're going to do, we're just going to do normal, kind of like we did before. So we did normal with default cameras. Let's see where this goes. I love how she was humming her little theme. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. Right? That was so cute. Yes, please don't forget you're a ninja. Okay, here I am. She didn't forget she's a ninja. She just got cocky, which mm -hmm. is super in character. Yeah. Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Pokeball, go. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. Members of Avalanche, where are you? Come get me already. Uh... Okay, I was a man in a Moogle hat. Huh? <laughs> Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> <clears throat> All righty. <clears throat> All right, let's get a feel for it. Okay, so we got Yuki, Yuki Kisaragi. Right now, she's got the steal, of course. Deadly dodge, okay. Healing. Assess, and parry. And this is all that she's got. Heckin! Peasant King 42, hello, hello. Welcome to the, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Now, why are these Link? doesn't matter we're gonna probably not gonna have any allies here but i see a sit the synergy sorry the people of avalanche just melded into an interdimensional fold and extricated themselves from this chronology yeah seriously okay four good point, luck four point shuriken ninja armlet 
I don't have any. Okay. Wait. Elemental ninjutsu. Set an element to enhance and use for ninjutsu attacks. Exploit an enemy's weakness with an elemental ninjutsu attack. Okay. An oversized strong star used by ninja from Wutai. Okay. Interesting. And then upgrade weapons. What can we what can we do already off the bat? Allows you to use mug. Okay. HP. Magic attack. Attack power. Right now she's pretty balanced. We're gonna go attack power. And we're gonna go mug. I truly don't know why I wasn't following. I've been looking for like three years. Lol. To be fair, it's a... Uh... Huh. Ah. If you've been a part, if you're in a Stunner's network server, you just get you get notified about like you get notified if you're uh when I'm streaming anyway. Um, unless you have those notifications turned off, I don't know, but yeah. Either way. All right, let's see how Yuffie feels to play. Let go. Let go. Yuvi can fight effectively both up close and from range. Press X to strike a foe with her throwing star. Hold X to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay, I like this kit already. Yeah. The ability nin um, Elemental Ninjutsu changes the elemental affinity of Yuffie's X attack while her weapon is away. Fair, but three years is a long time. I getcha, no worries. Though it deals non-elemental damage at first, pressing left-right while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of the attack. Use Elemental Ninjutsu to explore your enemy's weaknesses and pound them into submission. Well, first let's do an assess to see what element's weak against. Weak against ice. So with that, let's go to abilities. Ah, so then we can do ice ninjutsu. Yes, you can just hold X and she does a long range and then backs away for a long, for um, a close range and then backs away for a long range. That's very nice. Or you can just do, you can, you, she can be a melee that makes distance. I like that. That's that's very nice. Do your worst. Using temporarily enhance ice ninjutsu windstorm. And our heroine triumphs again. Alrighty. By pressing Y, Yuffie can hurl her weapon at a target. Press X while it is away from her to perform long-range ninjutsu. The weapon will return to Yuffie automatically after a certain amount of time. To retrieve it sooner, press Y again. Okay. So X and Y. Fair. Okay. Alright, let's see how this plays out. So I can go... Oh my god! She can just... Oh my god. Oh, that's fun. Throw the star, do magic. Okay, heck yeah. Oh yeah, no, I'm down for that. That's that sounds fun. This is fun so far. So it's like throw your yeah, Yuffie's capable of destroying turner boxes. Yeah, from a distance. 
Oh, that's great. That would have been great when freaking I was playing Barrett and had to shoot every single one. What was your kit like in the original? Haha, uh -huh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. When it came to... I didn't use Yuffie um, when I played 7 when I was younger. Um, her kit is that she's kind so of... So you press got... attack, and then she attacks it. Yeah. Yeah, that that was it. When it came to when it, like when it comes to RPGs, characters don't have kits. They have this is their best stat. Build them to that or build them however you want, but it's going to be weird. Like Aerith, most of her most most of her abilities prioritized on magic defense and magic attack. She was your best caster, but she was heckin' squimshy. But you could build her a you could put attack on her and defense on her um it would be weird but you could um and what i liked in re in um in remake is that they well i like it and yet i kind of don't like it is that they had certain weapons that were a little off the norm of what they of what they normally did tifa all of her weapons all of them have a speed stat her stats clearly... in the original were pretty low on average but her dex and luck were super high yeah so she was going to be speedy, she was going to have a lot of turns, um, and she had a high crit rate. That was it. So that, yeah. th 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 those were her stats, luck and dex. Um, other than that, she was probably going to be underperforming, but that didn't mean that you couldn't use a caster to buff her or have someone like protect her. Like you could put the bodyguard uh, materia on somebody to defend her so that she doesn't take as many hit, you know, things like that. That being said, um, again, luck and dex were her main stats, so she d has more turns more often, and she crits more often than normal. But, um, so she was a high-risk, high-reward unit, in theory. Um, in this case, right now, now we can, we can look at her stats, and I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't something similar. But right now, her attack and her magic attack are balanced. Right now, um, her attack is a little bit up because <clears throat> I think, um, uh, yeah, I, I upgraded her four point to add some more attack. And I think that was because of mug. Oh no, I did attack and I did mug. But her stats are pretty even across the board. Now her luck, um, her vitality, her spirit, and her speed are her lowest stats. Her luck is pretty high. Um, not as high as her strength and magic, and then her defense and her magical defense are kind of, everything is kind of evened out. Um, but when it comes to her attack and her magic attack, they're the same. So you could either build her magic damage, or you can build her physical damage. And it'll be fine, because she can do both. You can either just have her hit with her star, <clears throat> where, where she throws it and gets it back, or just uses her star like a weird sword or you can have her chuck her star and then start doing magic damage with her ninjutsu which isn't the same which is similar to spell casting it's kind of like how Aerith, when her her basic attack was just her shooting little magic bullets that was based on her magic attack because it's her attacks based with magic and the ninjutsu in this case is it, it, it's magic. It's fucking magic. Um, so, right now, Yuffie seems to be a pretty balanced overall unit. Um, and obviously, in this case, I'm, I'm going to assume she's going to be like this right now, just for this DLC, because she's all I have at the moment. I don't know how she is in Rebirth if they keep it this way. I would be very surprised if they don't. Because if you want to, if you want Yuffie in your party, it's because you enjoyed how you would eat. I'm going to assume in Rebirth that they, that they're, that they didn't change this. Because if they, if this is how they make Yuffie play, there's no point in changing it unless they just don't want you to use Yuffie. Now, it's not like yeah. overpowered or anything, but it's very versatile and very, very fun, which is also very fitting because she's a ninja. She like a ninja at the end of the day is supposed Nin -nin. To, she is supposed to be versatile 
in many different environments, whether it be espionage or like what most nin actual ninja did, hiding in plain sight. Right now, she's kind of not doing that, but... But at least there's nothing on her aside from the giant star that's, that, 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 that screams, I'm a ninja. Um... But yeah, so far, so far her kit seems, um, seems really fun. I can see, I, I can see it being very fun to bounce back and forth uh, between. Um, obviously, if we get an, another weapon of hers, we'll see where things normally lie. But right now, the first core of upgrades, um, it has a magic, it has attack. So again, if you want to build her more one way, or depending on how you want to spread your points, you can keep her completely even um she's got solid coverage she's got solid coverage um excuse me and uh yeah when it came to back then the old rpgs they didn't really have kits they had uh, a very clear role to play in the party and their stats reflected that and that's where their stats usually would grow um, the only things you being able to manipulate being um, in terms of equipment, what you gave and didn't give them. And again, if if you build Aerith as a fucking high physical attack character, I mean, it'll um, it, you can get you can do that, but it, it, why? <laughs> Hi, Anthony. What are we talking yep, about? Yep. We're we're talking right now because uh, we're. We 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 are we just started the Yuffie DLC and so far um, the kit that she's been given is very very interesting. She's got a Moogle hoodie. Yep, she's got a Moogle hoodie. All right, so let's see. How are we gonna explore around? I wasn't gonna stream Space Marine, but they started doing the Yuffie. I'm like, this is I'm way more invested in seeing how the fuck they do this. <laughs> considering so far, fighting as her <laughs> is very fun. <laughs> That's when Nash gets with the rest of the gang. Neat flip. How come Tiva doesn't do that? Oh, she has her fucking smug she has the, it seems. She, So what I can do with her, like, look, this is just one button press. Oh, she uh, does fucking, well, she that. does the ninjutsu. So here's her star. Uh -huh. She does two attacks, a long range and a short range. Or I can chuck her star when I'm not getting hit. I can chuck her star, and then focus on these fuckers, if you know she'll aim. Ah. So while her star That's is doing damage up there, I can fuck with these assholes until I get it back. That's a lot of combo potential. Oh, she's it's like- so fun that they put in the 14 Madras. Yeah, they did. In, in the 16 demo I played, you fight some ninja assassins, and they do all the Madras too. It's all named. It's all named correctly. They do all yep. of them. It's great. They do all the oh, hand yeah. signs and everything. The, the, the simple show. It's awesome. Then you get sixteen. It gives her. It gives her crowd control and coverage. Dude, well, getting her into the party with like Barrett or Cloud or Aerith is gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's if they keep this kit for her, which I'd be very surprised if they didn't. I would, they would make no sense if they completely change her kit. Also, her animations are very satisfying in general. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I actually have to little... use the bathroom a little bit. <laughs> you guys can keep talking. I won't go BRB screen. I just have to use the yeah. bathroom. My tum tum's being dum dum. I don't recall why she's wearing a legal outfit. Ninja. I was a fucking ninja. I wouldn't wear a goddamn Moogle outfit. Exactly. <laughs> I guess it works. Hey, Team Keys Moogle. It's the everyman's Moogle outfit. Emerald. You're so viciously stole with your money. Lamoa, indeed. Ugh. 
I'm pretty sure her general idea here is to be wearing very normal clothes, but with an identifying feature, since she's apparently here to try and get Avalanche to meet up with her. Oh. Okay. And besides the Mughal hood, she looks like a slum dweller. Oh yeah, that's fair. I don't know if you guys have been playing, it's like, how much has actually happened. He just started. Yuffie showed up in Midgar, got assaulted by pigeons, fell off the roof, remembered she's a ninja and landed, then got cocky and fell through the flimsy roof, stated she's here to steal the ultimate materia from Jinra, then looks around like, wait, where's Avalanche? And now she's looking for Avalanche. There you're caught up. So... Also the ambient noise in your room is blaring through. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, noise, noise, now. Suppression, well, noise suppression was on, I don't know. Weird. Anyway. So what I'm hearing is, she's really fucking stupid. He's very silly. Hmm. He's yuffy. Stupid and cocky but incredibly capable. Indeed. Well, capable is the wrong word. Her skills are legit, she's just an idiot.
Alrighty. Come back. Okay. All right. Complete jackass. Huh? I don't understand you if he's a complete jackass. Oh yeah, but like she's jackass and that she's like the stunt, the the the, the silly stunt group. Mm-hmm. She's hi. I'm Yuffie Kisaragi, and this is Jackass. <laughs> Understandable. Alrighty. Also, hi, Emerald. So I, so far it seems like it's fine, but I don't know yet. But it looks like now I'm uploading my stream vods to YouTube. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't. This is not just a bug or something. Hopefully it's actually going. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. All right, let's. Diego helped me out with a reach around with that. <laughs> uh, Diego helped you out with a reach around. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I know what words I use. Okay. Apparently, it's a lot more easy to get more than fifteen minute videos than than you think. Oh yeah, no, it's it's easy. I just can't remember how because I've had my YouTube channel for so long. Verification, mostly. Yeah, it's just verifying. Mm-hmm. On the map screen, you can check your current, yeah, and survey the land. All right. Want to get a good look around in case there's any treasure chests or anything. Huh? 11. No palm. Uh oh. You okay? Anybody home? Actually, full map of Midgar. Okay. The Ooh. plate's still here. So this is before mm -hmm. the plate fell. Yeah, this is before the plate fell if I'm in Sector 7. Did they say this one? Mm. Oh, wow. Well, guess I'm not going anywhere until I get that elevator moving. You're a ninja. Yuffie's weapon can be used to strike more than one just crate by tossing it at hard to reach objects such as distant switches. And that's exactly what she's saying. I'm a ninja. <laughs> Look at Moogle. With her booty short. Yes. She, um. So right now she's wearing a Moogle thing and, um following Moogle pictures because I'm guessing she's looking she's been sent um by Wu Tai to steal a very important materia that Shinra has. Mm -hmm. Um and she was told to follow um to look for someone wearing a Moogle hat. But right hey. now she's only seeing these Moogle posters, which knowing Avalanche, because that's who she's looking for, um Avalanche uses um, you know, Midgar's own propaganda and props to kind of like signal one yep, another. Yep. Kind of like how they use stamp. Yeah. Both are, both dog breeds of stamp. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, if we're looking at if we're looking at if well, the dog breed thing is what we're assuming is the game telling us there's timeline stuff going on. As far as we know, stamp is just a beagle. Also, now that I know this is before the plate fell, I have a thought. Hmm? Yuffie is looking for Avalanche. Yeah. And Avalanche was being accused of working with Wutai, but Barrett kept saying that wasn't the case. Uh -huh. The plate hasn't fallen yet. Mm -hmm. Yep.
and somehow, inexplicably, Biggs is okay. Well, yeah. we're not sure with why Biggs is okay because we saw him die, but I don't fucking know. Down here. So I think Yuffie is going to be involved in getting him out. Maybe. I mean, that's a, that that could that could be a fair way to connect or, them. It would make sense. Or or she's the reason why, um, Shinra propaganda is like, hey. We know Wu Tai's working for Avalanche because we found a Wu Tai who was looking for Avalanche. Or, or that it could be Shinra trying to set up Avalanche because she's like, with your support, Avalanche, I'm gonna go find the Avalanche person and get there and get and get their support. Like it seems here, like Wu Tai is like, yes, we want Avalanche's support, not the other way around. Because Shinra was accusing Avalanche of, co of, of conspiring with Wu Tai, not Wu Tai trying to conspire Avalanche. And even then, Bear kept saying, Ain't no way we working with Wu Tai. Yeesh, this town's a total dump. I thought Midgar was supposed to be the marvel of the modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. We didn't actually see him die. But we saw him pass out and Cloud didn't have the time or skills to get him treatment, so he was a lost cause. Yeah. If we assume- Ninja could probably pull it off though. That That's assuming that Yuffie, with maybe some help, was able to carry Biggs out of the, of the plate before it collapsed. Yeah. If, if not, he got fucking crushed by the tower. Big rip. So if he wasn't dead, if he wasn't dead at that point, then he was dead, sure as fuck dead after the tower collapsed. That's why I'm thinking, because again, they show Zack and they show the other dog that kind of makes you kind of feel like, okay, maybe it's weird timeline-y shit. And then like another cutscene later, they show Biggs waking up. So that's why I'm thinking yeah, like maybe- mostly. I think Yuffie will be involved in helping Biggs, just because the motivations line up. Yeah. We'll see where, where it happens, but I feel like Biggs but is more tied- be timeline stuff. I feel like Biggs is more time to, uh, tied to the timeline stuff, lest they would show the timeline stuff after showing us that Biggs is alive. So as to not confuse that. Or again, it could also just- they could also just purposely do that to throw us off, because- at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's not unlike that to be a thing. So, who mm -hmm. knows? We'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't, I'm not expecting this DLC to be long. Huh? I gotta do something. After I first check if there's treasure. Yes. What? Okay. Amazing. Okay, wait a minute. You'll there we go. Trick. There we go. Come on down. If the throwing star misses or an object has barred its flight path, it will automatically return to Yuffie. Time your throws carefully and make sure nothing can interrupt them. Weapon hit an obstacle. Obstructed. Oh, and that's why I'm climbing.
Yes, Squeaky, you should listen to Runaway, they're a doctor. Squeaky, assuming someone... One second. Oh, assuming someone dying is not very kawaii, weave desu, yo, desu of you. They always somehow make it. You're right. I should keep following my thing up if there's no body. If there's no body, assume they're alive. Well, no, if there's no body that's been dismembered, then they're still alive. Usually, I usually I go by the... Well, this is mostly fate logic, and it's really funny because I think um, Logan ended up using it in one of his... Uh, uh, in, in one of the episodes of his, like, Unlimited Blade Works Abridged, but I came up with the quote when we were first doing, like, uh, Fate RP's um, DM by Deco, where I was like, no, 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 guys, guys, if they don't glitter away, they're A-OK. Because -okay. <laughs> yeah. that was how you definitively uh -huh. knew that a servant died in Fate, is if they glittered away. Especially, especially with how they did with fucking Lancer, I was like, no, until I see this fucker turn into glitter, he's not dead. One's number 20. Covered MP with a Mako shard. There's a whole other way here, but I feel like this leads to something. Why are you wearing a bear head with a clown nose? It's not Christmas yet. It's always Christmas. As long as Christmas is in your heart, Christmas will never die. Aha! Wind materia. It's also a Moogle hoodie, yeah. You're also wrong. <laughs> Another one of those guys. Yeah, that's the second one we've seen. Well, that's the the same one we we just rescued, but yeah. Thousand mm -hmm. kill.
third one. Sixteen. So eleven, twenty, and sixteen. No, it's fine. It's like, I just got to Midgar and all I found are fucking zombies. With weirdly fashionable jackets. I was gonna say, they're mostly just wearing like weird cloaks and rags. Smells gone. Must have gotten used to it. <laughs> Way things are going, I'll be working for Shinra next. Okay, there's various nice ways to try, go. Midgar. Ugh, I'm talking to myself. City's getting to me. Okay, I think this leads to Sector Seven. Funny enough. I'll be following the funny Moogle poster still. Oh no, okay. I thought that was a turn. Never mind. So I can just go either way. Uh. Oh, let's go this way then. Any monster troubles or wait, did you just come from any monster troubles or oh, yeah, this is factor seven gonna be good for any of us if we start getting this wrong with me. Local reactor five has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche! Not bad, not bad at all, but I can do better. Yuffie? Yo. What? There's our palm. So you're Avalanche? I'm Gigi. Follow me. What? Wait up! Oh, look, it's the guy. So, Gigi, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. And what exactly is a W anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from. Think of it as a code name. Uh, hmm. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Oh, Give those bigs, Wagon Jet, Reg and Jesse. You walk all over me? Yeah. Well, here we are. Ladies first. They didn't get caught. They'll turn up. And when they do, we're gonna treat them to a feast. 
I can almost taste your pizza now, Jesse. Shame, since he won't be getting any. What? <laughs> Adorable. I think they're talking oh. about. Hi, the... Yuffie. He's trying real hard to make it obvious that you shouldn't say certain things here. Take a hint. Yeah. I think they were talking about Cloud and Barrett and Tifa. Cause they're like, he's gonna, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna treat him to the pizza. It's like too bad they're not gonna get any. But I don't know because the only time we went to get pizza and Cloud didn't get any was when it was like we we need to steal my dad's ID so that you can get into the Shinra warehouse and take the bo the bombing agent. Yeah. So I, I don't. I, it, that that feels a little conflicting because at that point, um. At at that point, uh, Barrett only was like, hey, we're going on a mission, but Cloud's not going. I, I don't know. I'm assuming because I didn't get to hear the full conversation. And it's not playing again, so. Hey, don't want you getting lost. Merc with the sword. So Cloud has definitely at least been around here. It sounded like she told Wedge too bad you are not going to get any. Okay. That, okay, that makes more sense then. That makes a lot more sense. Um, that being said, that same mission though, Wedge, um, Biggs went with them because Biggs was the one that was going to help sneak them in. Um, so unless they're doing something else before heading off, I don't know. I have to get my time. I have to remember. I'm gonna probably need to look at something about the timeline. Sector Seven Clinic. Only the most advanced avalanche's base. Only the most advanced. Our most advanced fucking medical technology. A bench. An outdoor bench inside. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nayo. Hi. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the New Wutai Government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate Materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. Hey. Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As <laughs> if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. Huh. Uh. <laughs> but I did bring these. Wutai's famous de chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? Your Chuni Bio is gonna get us fucking killed. Oh, yeah, it is. Alrighty. Gain intel. Everyone else there is at a casual five. Meanwhile, she's sitting at a resting nine. My teeth. You're welcome. 
So the materia I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? He's the loudest ninja I've ever seen, and I've watched Naruto. <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now, if you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Huh. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Be my guest then. Go get killed. Uh, harsh. But mom... If you need specifics in the <laughs> center building, ask Naya. Okay. You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. There's a weapon behind me. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Alrighty. Weapon chest. Obtained a boomerang. Now unleash my inner Jasna. Like Sierra, oh, okay. Uh, brumal, brumal form. Evade an attack. Increase ATB. ATB increases when successful. Can use while airborne. Okay. Interesting. I still need to get this going, so... We'll probably hold off on that one. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Want to try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. It's really kind of the juxtaposition here. So you look at the guys, and they look like they're wearing old, grungy, dirty clothes. But then you see this chick, and it's like, she looks like she just came out of a fucking dressing room. Yeah, right. Like, the girls are all well-dressed, well and the men just Look aren't. Ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It has Social commentary. Off, so there's no way huh. you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop oh, you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Oh, these. Little fucking military game. I was thinking the exact same thing when she was doing that Women care thing. about their appearance, while men are like, eh, it's comfortable enough. Eh, we live in the slums. Beginner's Guide to Fort Condor. Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and materia to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, select a loadout. I 
I mean, it's already it's already decided for me. Okay, one second. Headquarters, outpost. Guard dog, slug ray, blast ray, riot trooper, grenadier, security officer. They've kind of got... Isn't this from The Witcher? I have no idea. No, that's Gwent. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must destroy... You must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have... More bases left standing when the timer runs out. You'll automatically march forward and destroy engage enemies once they've been deployed. <sighs> the cursor to spot you wish to deploy a unit, then press A to begin selecting the unit you want. Okay, there's a hella trooper here. Okay. Materia allows you to use powerful spells during a match. Select LB. And cast your magic. Once you've made a decision, press A to unleash the attack. Have several units still. How do you how do you use the materia again? That's a great question to ask. It I I'm pressing the Oh here we go. Okay. Okay, I can't pass this line. Uh, because none of my units are past the line. Okay. All my units seem to be out. Okay. Okay, I think I get this. Hmm. Materials one use. And then as far as my line goes, then that means the more I can... Ah, oh, fuck, they killed my dog. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the further your units get out, then the further you can deploy units without having to get there. So you constantly want some... Um, you at least want a, um, a unit that has to attack things close range so that you can then maybe get your long range units going. I don't know. I, I think I, I think I get where this is going though. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally oh. kicked my ass. You mean you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Word is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia too. Materia. 
That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on. Hella trooper obtained. Okay. Mastering Fort Condor. Someone's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. And drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Utai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper. And he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him. Man deserves some Dachau beans. Ugh. All this talking is giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Hey, you up for a round of Fort Condor? Tutorial match? No. Oh, you sure? Yeah, the Happy Turtle is, funny enough, um, a shop that if you do certain missions as Zack in Crisis Core, you can unlock and it's got some items and materia in it. Well, I found him. <laughs> Go home, turtle freak. This town's got enough problems. La la la, dun dun da da. Oh, the joy and cheer that away that the happy turtle. Ho ho, greetings, soft shell. So, how many of those flyers did you find? What? Ahem. Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one-of-a-kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? Nope. Well then, allow me to explain. The happy turtle's running a contest, and the rules are simple. All you have to do is collect six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Wutayan, especially since the bombing. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <sighs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a handful of flyers, you could be the first, and at this rate, the only way to get the this most rate. Sadly, people are a little upset with history. our people, what with the this bombings and all. Of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned, no pond unplumbed. That prize is as good as mine. Ah, since you're here, you wouldn't happen to have any condor coins on you, would you? This job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. Sounds like the fucking key to you. Shock Trooper, Vanguard. Yeah, a little bit. I like how they kind of look like the original sprites in 7. Yeah. Alrighty.
Alright. Mughal Sheik. More power to her. Don't you have enough clothes? Excuse you, there's no such thing. But how about saving some of that money for food? Okay. But women, am I right, guys? Buying clothes to the food. Typical. Sometimes they can be a dialogue for these little words. Oh, these are all people. units. Wait, what was a unit again? So when your opponent leads with this, uh. you respond with this? This game is insane. Hey there, suit. How's that conversation with yourself working out? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. My daughter's been dying to play this game, and I promised to teach her. But first, I have to teach myself. That game wouldn't happen to be Fort Condor, would it? If you want, I'll help you figure stuff out. Y you will? Oh, thanks. That'd be a great help. Uh, do we know if the plate's fallen yet? Um, we what? got a map. Of, we get we got a map of Shinra. Uh, wow, Yuffie's cape is having a seizure. Um, so we can see a map of Midgar, and it's a complete map, and it's showing that the plate is still there as well. Uh, we're in the Sector Seven slums. That place that yeah. doesn't exist anymore because the plate fell. <laughs> so there we go. There you go. And we met Biggs, Jesse, and Wedge. Yeah, so this is before the plate fell. Challenge, yes. Okay, okay. It wants me to play this game, seriously, clearly. Oh, hey, 14 done. Hey. Hell yeah. That was earlier than we thought it would be. Okay, starting ATV. Yeah, it was. Oh, starter board and sorcerer board. Slug Ray. Okay, so they're doing a, an assassin board. We'll do a starter. We'll stick with the starter board. Materia is ice and wind. Okay. Materia details. And now we immediately switch to updating Star Rail, ha. Huh. All right. Let's see if I retained any information. Uh, we're gonna have a riot trooper go.
Oh, they killed my guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have to at least have my base good for a bit. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking Herder, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. There we go. Welcome, welcome. Well, what do you know? I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Starting to get the hang of what? Losing? Losing on purpose, to be precise. If I can let my daughter win without her suspecting, that to me is as good as a victory. Boo! <laughs> I know, I know. But if it'll make her happy... Okay. Here. Hey, over here. I can't believe those freaking morons. They damn near got themselves eaten trying to hide that stupid poster. You stay away from that factory, you hear? The place has monsters coming out of the walls. I was, I was really hoping he was going to say out the wazoo. Happy Turtle. This is a completely different song. What do you mean? Yeah, right. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. Okay, it wants me to do the combat simulator, but I just kind of wanted to explore and see if I can find a poster. Understandable. Weird. I thought they just were going to reset everything for the PvP, but they haven't. Oh. All the, un all the unlocks are still there. Huh. Hmm. Weird. I guess that was... saying but you remind me of a dear friend of mine perhaps you've met him i don't know is he shinra too perhaps perhaps my name is roche by the way ordinarily your ill-concealed hostility and exotic wardrobe would give me pause but not today for i am here on business of a personal nature looking for my aforementioned friend what's his name oh i only wish i knew but I can tell you that he has a real need for speed, as they say. And while he boasts a very large sword, his first love is plainly his mount. Yeah, he sounds great. Say, is that Fort Condor I see over there? You play? I'm always ready for a round of Fort Condor. Roish here matching Yuffie's energy. <laughs> I suspect a delicate flower like you would wither if exposed to my scorching passion for the game. Maybe after some practice, hmm? Okay, well, that's fair. No, it's not. Fuck you, Roche. <laughs> Alright, let's see. You auditioning for Argenti or something? Yeah, no, seriously! Something important. No, you're not. You're not doing anything. <laughs> you're petting a cat. Very important. It's an earworm. It is an earworm. <laughs> uh -huh. Apparently, anywhere you hear the song. They all say, how much money does this man make that he can make all these separate jingles for the happy turtle? Why are those kids are fighting like, that kid's fighting like Cloud. 
Yeah. And look how that kid, ha the fat kid has a very long pipe. <laughs> oh, it's Sephiroth. <laughs> It's Sephiroth! He stands up like Sephiroth! His <laughs> left hand, too. Yeah, yeah. it's his left hand! He's uh, only using uh, one hand! He's, he's swinging like Sephiroth swings it! Watch him! That's so funny. <laughs> and he does clouds of the fucking moves. Oh my god, he, they're both stands the fuck up. Peacock. Look at that hip hop turtle. <gasps> Never stood a chance, little guy. It doesn't have to play the jingle every time I find one, it clashes though. Like, I'm already hearing this one, that's fine. They're literally playing Cloud and Cloud versus something. Well, technically Sephiroth, because they're like, I want to be the Merc. No. <laughs> Chadley. What's gonna happen to our town? Nothing. Because you and I are gonna protect it, no matter what. Hi. Tonight's dinner. So with his super duper nose, Stamp went into town to sniff out a bakery. He went a sniff sniff Hi, here and a sniff sniff there. Even the finding milk, sausage, and cake didn't distract him. Timeline confirmation. Using his yeah. Trusty nose, Stamp was able to find this one's the a beagle. Best, most yummiest bakery in the whole city. And from that bakery, he picked out the best, most yummiest smelling loaf of bread. Thinking about how pleased the captain would be, Stamp went trotting back to base, wagging his tail and singing a happy song. But on the road home, he came across a moogle crying all by himself. What's wrong? Stamp asked the forlorn little fellow. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten in ages, Koopo. The moogle sniffled. Never fear, Stamp's here, and I know just how to help. So Stamp gave the crying moogle his loaf of bread. Thank you, Koopo, the Moogle exclaimed, his palm bouncing excitedly. Then Stamp waved goodbye and returned to base. When he got there, he went straight to the captain Stamp's and the told him what had happened. World. The captain was very proud of Stamp. Helping that Moogle was the right thing to do. Who's a good boy, the captain laughed as he gave Stamp a good scratch behind the ears. And Stamp let out a happy bark, for he knew that he was the good boy. The end. That's all for today. Did everyone enjoy that? Hi, Moogle. Hi there, Moogle. Are you here for the story? 
the materia. I'm here for the materia. <laughs> I, I'm here for the materia. I'm not here for your cringe ass propaganda. Okay, everyone, listen up. Time for Stamp, the loyal little helper. Garou, I am Stamp. Bow wow, I'm Stamp. <laughs> the dog that never stops helping. Oh, it's her, Kyrie. You know the drill. Yeah. You want to play? You got to fork over. Hmm? What's your deal? And why are you dressed like a five-year-old? That's just weird. Uh, what are you talking about? Why are you dressed like a whore? Weird. It's super. Why are you dressed cute. like a bitch? Super cute. <laughs> More like super lame. Not as lame as. You're that. lame. Huh? Moogles are cool. How much I was looking forward to playing Fort Condor. I could really use the training, you know. Sure, I'll put you through your paces. But you do know it's gonna cost you, right? One match, three gil. Hey up. Sure. Pew. All right. Uh, is it recommending I do a sorcerer board? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try this one then. Holy shit, they're sending a lot of units here. Yeah, they are. Riot Trooper tends to do really good against them. Hmm. I feel like Four Condor is a reference to something, and I'm too stupid to remember. It's a reference to the actual minigame. In seven. Um. Hmm. I up. I up. Riot boy's doing his best. He's trying so hard. He's doing his best, man. He 
You got this probably. My little riot trooper is doing his best. He's such a good boy. I like how all the bottles are like little mega blocks. Excuse me? I cheated and I still lost? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Trump's all. You bitch. <laughs> Whatever. You still owe me for my time. It's gotta be worth seven gil at least. As if. As if you're a loser. <laughs> you're a loser and a cheat. Fuck you. Got to place a guard dog. Yuffie having a time. Yeah. The trouble chasing off nosy men. Oh. Don't let the dog notice you. Doggy. Relatable stealth game. Yes. Also, she said nosy men, but you're not a man. God, the bucket. Your old nemesis. Try not to bump into anything. different now. Come on. Just what do you think you're doing, young lady? Ah! What do you want with that exactly? Better yet, who are you? Heard some punks have been hassling the nice people at the Happy Turtle, ripping down their flyers. Are you one of them? Mm-mm. So you're trying to sneak a peek at the Merc? Not that I blame you. Boy's easy in the eyes. I'll give him that much. 
But cut your losses, honey. Unless you like your men silent and emotionally unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! She just fucking skinned him! Fuck. Completely! Holy fuck! Silent and emotionally unavailable. <laughs> oh. Even he can't see over it. He'll never do Damn, that woman just hurt him worse than Sephiroth. Yo, she fucking killed him! Tried to get through to him, but would he listen? Would he? Granny's going for the throat. here for whoever he is. Then what are you here for? For, uh... Directions, but I'm all good now. Thanks. If she's saying sneak a peek at the Merc, it's must be assuming that Cloud is in there. Oh, look at the poster. Hey. Freaking barbershop content. Love it. Honestly, yuffie. Should have just said you were there to pet the dog. He's like, I just wanted to pet the dog. Well, he's doing a job right now. Still now stupid, but believable. Sorry, not here. Okay, he's not here. Like people taking down the nice, po the nice posters from the Happy Turtle, but like it's their whole, it's a whole contest. That was a close one. I like this part. I like this part. I like the like that like that like slow doo wop. It's really nice. Yeah. I just love how no one questions the fucking random happy turtle jingles everywhere. Be Let's see, how many have I gotten already? Let's see. Wu Tai's local specialty exceptionally tough legumes packed with nutrients. Da Chow beans. Happy new turtle newsletter. Want to kiss your troubles goodbye? Tired of being hung out to dry? Our sweet little haven is your getaway. Because every day with us is a holiday. I like how it's a turtle that's like in a gourd and it's drunk. Yeah. It's happy. Is the ground floor life getting you down? Chin up now. It's no who is. Frown. <laughs> sure. The happy turtle is here and just in time bringing so much cheer it should be a crime. Do lonely nights turn into lonely days? Fill that void with booze, food, and play. At the happy turtle you'll only find the best. For we live to entertain you, our honored guest. A turtle with liquor, now ain't that a sight? Why it brings it makes one brim with utter delight. Twin uh two twin red cheeks enchanting you wholly, drop by the happy turtle and drink it drink it in slowly. Oh, well <laughs> there's clips here. <laughs> These are clues. I've uh, just been looking for them. A cat, took, okay, so... a cat took one into Culvert Street. Okay, so I found one. Some kids hid it some hid one somewhere. Floating in the air was two. Uh, near Old Snapper's friend apartment building, which is Marl. Um, a cat took one on Culvert Street. And that's the one I'm missing. On the town billboard near the old Talager factory. Okay. I actually completely forgot about the clues. Okay, so a cat took one. Either way, the song kind of is usually indicator enough that you're close to one. Okay. Cat. able to find the best, most yummiest bakery in the whole city. And from that bakery, he picked out the best, most yummiest smelling loaf of bread. Thinking about how pleased the captain would be, Stamp went trotting back to base, wagging his tail and singing a happy song. You're in the way, Moogle Lady. 
Move the lady, get the fuck out the way. We're trying I to can't listen. Say to We're trying to listen to the story for the five thousandth time. <laughs> You're in the way, Moogle Lady. I can't fit. I can't finish my time here in predation without it. Please right. move. They'll pull at me free. Oh, they're all. Are they also just marked on the? Oh no, it's just the guy. That's where the guy is. Okay. Oh, it's. Oh, there's one here. Yeah, because, uh, Wyatt mm. whatever said that some idiots went over there tried to freaking put a thing down. Okay. Uh, what I want to do though. Here's Chadley. Shout out Sector 7, mastering Fort Condor. So it says a cat took one. On Culvert Street. Okay, well, Culvert Street. That's gonna that's gonna be a little difficult since these aren't really sectored off by streets. I just wish we knew more. Can't keep canceled. Searching for candidates. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. She seems relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh, you wanna tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chad. Reeve. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. My name is Chadley, a total normal person. Oh, what are you researching? I am Chadley, a normal human being, just I'm like you and me. I am a human. <laughs> Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. I am Very a human. Well. This is how human speaks. Ramu. Okay, and get the Ramu materia. Well, I guess let's fight. Fuck. That's my Moogle outfit. <laughs> All right, let's fight Ramu. His beard, Lena. Oh, fuck. He's, a, he's, he's got a pretty good beard, not gonna lie. Alright. He hurts. He hurts. Yep. I didn't even get to assess him. Alright. Interesting. What a shame. It was a close match. However, I did analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. has gotta be back by now. Grandpa said sit down. <laughs> can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? Huh. I didn't really get to assess him. Really bad. Yeah, no, he hurts really bad. He's strong as shit. Yeah. Okay. Shame. It was analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory. Okay. So interesting. Uh, let's keep looking to see if we can find close match. Totally. Go in there. Enough already, Shinra. Where oh, interesting. We should have been here by now. 
Oh. Ooh, you got stood up. As if. Wait, who are you? Don't mean to be rude or anything, kid. But do you mind? I'm not exactly in the mood. This might have been what, um... This yeah, that was the same effect we get from the whispers. She just can't see them. Yeah, I'm just kind of like... I'm seeing bandages here on Jesse's leg. What looks like bandages. So I'm thinking, I'm wondering if this is sometime after... Seventh Heaven gets, like, attacked by the Whispers. His ways are a mystery. So are you a band or what? A record label? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I do too. Because damn man you got so many mixes. Holy sh Uh, why do you all have to look the same? <laughs> nope. Got the wrong cat. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> skewer yeah see look stamp chips and it's got a dog on it it's got a beagle the one we saw mm. in the zack thing had a yorkie yeah Confirms our timeline. Yep. And yeah, that's a bop. Hmm. Okay, the other one's in the, the factory. So that one's in a dangerous area, so we gotta go there. How many hours? So we gotta... Go this way. Yeah, 
So we gotta go... jobs and not worry about things that don't concern us but what if avalanche is hiding somewhere in this sector <laughs> i'm waiting my friend come out come out wherever you are <laughs> have been acting up since the bombings like they know something we don't just wish that merc were still around he'd sort those critters out okay here we go Wow. Now the heavy metal version. Yes, she looks super fun to play. Yeah. It's so fucking stupid. Wanna get wrecked at the Happy Turtle? <laughs> it's fucking great. I love it. So stupid. It's so good. <laughs> Let's make six separate jingles for one dumb little bar that you don't actually get to go to. Materia. Uh, I don't need revival because it's just me. If I die, I lose. Uh... Hmm. 
Might do HP up to give myself more HP. Yuffie's a little squimshy. Get ready for the beating of a lifetime. Okay, did I get me? Ooh, almost. Being able to switch her basic attack between... So, what's really cool about Yuffie's elemental ninjutsu ability is that because of that, you don't have to worry about giving her elemental materia. It's completely useless with her because with this ability... Her basic attacks can already do elemental a certain elemental damage that depending on how, on on the situation you can switch on a dime. That's insane. Yeah. You can you essentially save yourself a materia slot. Giving her elemental materia unless you build her magic, it's like you can give her magic materia, but she doesn't need it per se. Oh, you gotta follow the jukeboxes. Keep a flipper on the bottle. This really neat that elemental materials are best too for anyone else but Yuffie. It's nice to have characters with different build needs. Yeah. Yeah, see, now she does ice damage instead of like... It's interesting, because she's a ninja, but with this kit she serves a party role similar to a black mage. I'd say yeah. almost even a red mage. She does have white magic too. Well, she doesn't have white magic at the moment, but you can give her white magic to fill that gap. Yeah. You can give her healing you can give her healing materia mm. and let her and let her magic damage. magical coverage yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, in terms of magical damage coverage, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She hits almost every single dot on that one. You can you can save her magic materia for Stay back. I'm warning you. 
spooky. Who is Materia there? There is. Ice. I'm fucking poisoned. Nice interception. Yeah. Let's see. Really making you work for that materia. Yeah, seriously. One down. Yeah. <clears throat> First strike. That's not bad. I think count that has ATB charge at the beginning. Gotcha. <laughs> it's got a little 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 spike collar. <laughs> gotcha.
won't old snapper be impressed when I rock up with these bad boys? I turn to old snapper. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. Look what the tide washed in. That's a one, two, three, and a four, five, and I can't believe it, six. We have a winner. Three cheers for the Happy Turtles old conquering champion, Hip Hip Hooray! Hip Hip Hooray! Hip Hip Hooray! I literally think that's the, the freaking key to you singing. Only the Midgarian dummies would find that a challenge. Speaking of which, here, for a fellow tough knight. Would you look at that? The chow beans. Does this mean what I think it does? <laughs> well, what do you know? A real-life ninja paying old Snapper a visit. Truth be told, I'd love to have you around to the bar, but you got your hands full. <laughs> Not to mention the whole underage thing. Still just a youngin', I suppose, ninja though you are. Well, I don't plan on moving to Midgar anytime soon, so once your shell's seen a bit more wear and tear, make sure to come on back. Whip you up the finest food and drink this side of Wutai. Only the best for you. Magnify materia. Oh. If it isn't my favorite ninja, good to see you again. Attacks nearby enemies a somersault. But can we magnify ninja? Eh, no, unfortunately. <clears throat> call me, call and if you ever find yourself with a few spare coins, remember old snapper. Alrighty. Have I gotten sweet, I can switch my weapon now. Let's see. Yeah, so this essentially does all materia. It's all materia. Now, these don't need to be linked. Uh, and then I think I'm going to take away the fire materia. Move that there. Because you can do warding. So that she doesn't get poisoned. So right now I'm getting poisoned a lot. Time bind and subversion. I don't have poison materia though, do I? No, I don't. I can do magnify. Deadly dodge. Parry. Guard against enemy attacks allows you to quickly unleash your next move. Hold RB and press B to activate. Deals a small amount of damage. Okay. Heal. Sus. What I want to do is, for now, I'll have her fire magic do that. Healing is fine. Um, assess is still good to pinpoint enemy weaknesses. If I get another materia slot, I will... I'm probably not going to use parry. So give me HP up so I've got a little bit more, more squim, less squimshy. Okay, so there's still a couple people I can play Fort Condor with. Someone really wants me to do the tutorial with that guy. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Uh, uh. What? Just thinking how you're nothing like your old man. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. I was lucky enough to learn how to fight from good. Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. Let's talk about something else, like how you've adjusted to life here, indulging in adult pastimes. Which I guess means drinking yourself stupid. 
Last thing I need is my partner stinking like an over the hill has been. Speaking of drinking, you been to the Happy Turtle? If you're part of Operation Down in One, I take it back. I am there next time you go. Don't worry, I can do adult stuff just fine. Well, Here. I don't even know where to begin with all of that. But I do know I haven't heard of Operation Down in One. At any rate, I'm looking forward to working with you, boss. Boss? As in me? Well, I've got a few years on you, I'll admit. But out of us two, you've done this longer. I... I guess I have. Boss, huh? I could get used to that. Beats being stuck on the bottom rung, that's for sure. <laughs> After we get the material, we can celebrate your promotion at the Happy Turtle. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Stupid bird. It says the merchandise is good to go. Handoff set a depot on municipal storage. Okay. Yuffie, Sonan, you mind coming along? Not at all. Need to scope out the city anyway. Really get to know the enemy. We'll be passing through a rough part of town, so you'll want to go prepared. I'll leave you to get ready. Hit me up outside when you're done, okay? Be right there. All right, that gives me more time to do a couple more things. You cannot control Sonon in combat. Instead, issue commands to him using right trigger. Okay. So we do get something of a party member. Pressing left trigger will help him synergize with Yuffie, and he will team up with her to perform right. attacks in tandem. Try pressing left trigger to synergize your team. Okay, right and left trigger. Okay, Sonon. Head now. Watch yourself, okay? Good luck out there, boss. I wanna... I wanna... I know you're not a local, but try your best to act like one. Am I not allowed to fucking do anything with you anymore? Or, Head now. or maybe... Yourself. Actually, no. Maybe I have to play things and then talk to him. Okay. Chadley. Okay, this is the guy that the rest of the thing is talking about. So Sonon Kusakabe. He has the Marshalist staff. Strike a foe myriad of times, dealing a large amount of damage. Okay. Yeah, they're talking about a guy with a staff. Studded bracer. And what has he got? Item master. Auto cure. First strike and provoke. Okay. Interesting. Well, that explains the gray hairs. Wow. Thanks. This game is really I'm trying to find a. Sadly. Man, just my luck. It's a nice yeah, it's not bad. And then I just passed it. Here we go. Uh. Ah, don't freaking scare me like that. I'm highly strung. You're trying to kill me? Or who the hell are you? Who am I? Someone who doesn't spend all day muttering to themselves in the shadows. Like some kind of Shinra spy. Say what? Me? Nuh uh. I was just, you know, thinking about stuff. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, like how to bag that sweet, sweet Fort Condor prize money. It's my ticket out of here. <laughs> So you're after the Grandmaster, too? Sorry to burst your bubble, Mr. Shadow Lurker, but I'll be the one taking home those spoils of war. Well, over my dead body, Hi, passerby. My ah. life's on the line here. I deserve to eat. I deserve to live. Okay. 
He's got Sorcerer Board 2. Okay. E-Riot Trooper. All right. Edit Loadout. Oh, here we go. Okay. So. He's got two tanks. Okay. So shield is better than sword. Sword is better than bow, and bow is better than shield. So getting some sword units would be good. But having some bow units are good too. Okay. Well, we've got a pretty good team here. But let's see, what else do I have? S-Gun Prototype. Riot Barracks. Remain stationary and spawns Riot Troopers at a steady rate. Each trooper spawns, reduce, reduces this unit's HP. Okay. Ignores all other units besides the enemy headquarters. It's the fastest unit in the game and also has extremely low HP. Okay, we're gonna save it with... Your ability is rather high. We'll do that. We'll put a blast ray. All right, let's try this. This might be difficult because aside from Happy Turtle Man, I don't know how to really get more units. These guys are going to destroy him. Advantaged.
this can't be say it ain't so oh, goodbye fortune goodbye pride <laughs> now I'm taking down Midgar a citizen at a time hmm wait what'd you say that all of Midgar is gonna suffer the same fate let's see sorcerer board two obtained right, baby I'm king if you want. no all right now I can fight the rank twos Now I can fight Jesse. Enough already. Uh huh. So I've been thinking about it, and I know just what you need. Round to Fort Condor. You gotta be. Didn't I tell you I'm not in the mood? You're not doing anything else. You know what? Fine. Why the hell not? Might help take my mind off things. All right, rank two. This might be actually harder. I might lose. All right, battle battalion board one. Okay, let's try Sorcerer Board 2. Alright, she's got... Only one sword unit. This is nothing but sword units. Holy shit. Um... Fire, Blizzard, Thunder... No. Okay, so we need to change some of these things. We've got an elite security officer, a shock trooper. Uh, let's put in, we have an elite, more expensive, more powerful. He attacks by firing grenades. Pack range is also wider. So let's give a shield. A lot of bow. And there's like no bow here. Do a sentry ray. Replace a security officer. for the front lines. Yeah, let's keep the shock trooper. Okay. Okay. Can't really have a lot of units here. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Sentry ray there. Oh shit. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna be the case. I gotta kill that doggo immediately! <laughs> That's gonna die immediately too.
This is still a win, interestingly enough. I am surprisingly average at this game. Grenadier, barracks, ranged, condor coin, hell yeah. Damn. Well, can't win them all. <laughs> ha ha, laugh it up. Now, what's that I hear? The sound of the world's smallest violin. <sighs> Keep pushing me. All right, let's see what else. No one likes a sore window, Yuffie. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the, the biggest thing with Yuffie is that she's young and cocky. The fucking Chuni Bio is off the charts. Don't be shy. Back for more? Such youthful determination! I love it! Alright, what's he got? Assassin Board 2. So he's got... Alright. I'm just looking here. Hi, Sky! Mwah. Hello, hello! Hello there. Let's see... So the sentry ray we can use for the, the moth unit. Alrighty. Shock trooper kind of came in pretty clutch. Stopping by during my last break at work? Hell yeah, you're almost there, dude. Thanks for dropping by. Mwah. Let's see. Uh, the guard dogs? Uh, we can probably get rid of. So... We still have a lot of sword, so let's, uh... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. We need shielders for that. It's gonna send probably a lot of those. And shielders are weak against bowmen, so maybe we'll have a barracks. And the elite riot trooper takes a bit. So maybe let's switch it for a blast ray. All right, I think we should be fine. All right, first thing. All right, it's summoning a sword unit. Blast ray. Yeah, the shock trooper going.
Oh damn. They make Oh lord he going. They going. Oh shit, I'm about to lose one. Ah shit. Oh, it's a tie. It's almost a tie. Nope. Not today, God, not today. Oh, I need someone over here. Please. I need. Ah! <laughs> Shock Trooper! <laughs> Sudden death? Oh okay. no. Okay. I need them to hold their own for just a little bit. All right. Sword. Sentry ray. Blast ray. This is bad. Okay, they've got... Shock Trooper. Got a lot of sword fuckers here. Oh my god. that big fucker that's there too it's just the flying units it seems yeah. like you can't hit them yeah so they're just clowning on you yeah yeah this one's a bust I'm gonna die yeah fuck Okay, yeah, they've got a lot of flying units. Okay, so they've got elite hella troopers. So I need, instead of this one. Okay, so to fight the elite hella troopers, I need something with a range, and probably this one won't do it. Because the barracks take too long to spawn. Uh... Yeah. I need to just kind of swarm it with troops. So that it doesn't- so that it has to make more units and doesn't build ATB. But it starts with the ATB already so high.
Oh my god, right? It has this huge fucker here. I need a hella man. Alright, this one's this one's a loss. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, maybe I need a different board. Starting ATB. Okay, let's see what other boards I have. I don't really have anything else. Hmm. Source reward. It's got a leet, it's got a cutter. the security officer for a shock trooper slug ray okay effective against units that cannot attack airborne foes no almost all its things are airborne grounded enemies uh, okay uh, maybe this board will work seven looks different hi kid of burden how are we doing today Someone's a fucker.
That little slug's doing the best it can. <gasps> okay, I need a hella trooper to fix some of these fuckers. Okay, this one's one. There we go. Hooray. Elite Hella Trooper, hell yeah. Well played, my friend. And to think, I thought I'd best you easily. Wait, did you just call me your friend? But of course, with that display of passion, you've more than proven yourself worthy. Henceforth, you shall occupy a place in the pantheon of my closest companions. When next we meet, it will be on the open road, the wind in our hair. Just don't make me come looking for you, my friend. Battalion board two obtained. We now challenge rank three players. Oh, cool. I've never seen a soldier up close before. Now that makes sense. Okay. There's a rank three there. That guy really wants to find his friend. It's really funny to me that he's third class. He's not dressed like one, which is crazy. He's still dressed like a trooper. But yeah, he's third class. Oh, Wedge is rank three? I'm not surprised by that somehow. I'm not surprised, but okay. Yeah. Got time for a game? It'd be my pleasure. Then let's do it up. I gotta warn you though, I'm kind of an expert at this. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll hold my own. I eat experts for breakfast. Uh oh, is that right? Well, you can talk the talk, so let's see your walk the walk. Alrighty, so he's got a battalion board three. Good luck. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, so he can have... And he's got a high starting ATB, so it's not long before he starts summoning some crazy units. Okay, what do I get here? Let's see. I can cure, I can haste. 
Increases the movement and attack speed of allies that enter it. Oh, it's a ward. Barrier. HP up. Okay. Okay. And he's got a pretty even set, although he's going to be probably summoning more ranged and tanks. So... A lot of swords is not bad. But I'm going to need at least a little bit more ranged. So let's edit. Uh... Well, it's the fastest unit in the game. It's extremely low HP. Uh, these are only good for summing them right at the thing. So let me, instead of the security guard officer, let's get, we might still need tanks and we have no tanks. So instead of security officer, Let's get a riot trooper. And instead of the guard dog, the shock trooper does pretty well. Uh, instead of the guard dog, let's do a slug ray. He's gonna have, some of these can't hit aerials. So it seems like, it seems like aerials are gonna be his main weakness here cause he doesn't use, seem to use a lot. Hold on. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, so we're gonna start this. What are we gonna summon first? Build my ATV first, no. Just a straight up helicopter, huh? I probably shouldn't have done that yet. my elite soldier.
All right. This is, yeah, pretty even. Oof. Its units are so behind that I can just overpower him because he's got he's got to wait to spawn units. But once they summon those heavy units, they're heavy. Oh shit. Fuck me, yeah, I lost. Oh. Fuck. God damn. Haha, <laughs> told you I eat expert if your game, I'm always up for fun. Sure we can go again. Show me what you want. All right. So I think I was on to something with getting, they don't have a lot of aerials, but they do have that helicopter.
slug ray facility, but they have that yeah, they have that fucking facility though. So I think instead of the officer do I have a facility? No, I don't have a facility that spawns these fuckers. But I might just need baby security officers. God. Okay, so... It's going to be sudden death again.
Let me just summon a Hella Trooper. There we go. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I didn't think you had a chance. Sure showed me. You freaking bet I did. Huh? Not the... uh. Looks like you've got your work cut out for you, my furry friends. All right, now I've got his board. Now I can add challenge rank four players, which I don't think there are any here. He's such an ass. Oh yeah, no, she's a little jerk. <laughs> She's a little ass. She is a jerk. All right. Uh. Okay. So yeah, you gotta. I gotta go back to him after I defeat everything. Okay. Um. I want. Including the grandmaster. Oh, where's my materia? But a ninja what star now? would be way better. <laughs> I like turtles. I'm guessing I have to go back to what's his face. Yeah. Searching for competitors. Of course he is. Initiating proficiency analysis. Yeah. Hello, Yuffie. I finished reviewing your four Condor match records. You exhibit what in sporting parlance is called the ability to perform in the clutch and the heart of a champion. In combination, these traits make you the ideal player. That being the case, if it isn't too much trouble, would you mind testing your medal against me? Uh, I guess so. I'm sure you'll kick butt. Uh, okay. What's he got? Grandmaster board. He starts at max ATB and he only needs five. Okay. We start pretty high ourselves with this battalion board. What about the one that we got from Biggs? This gives us a lot more units, well, though we start lower. But we're faster. Okay. So he's got two tanks, a slug ray facility, which is going to be kind of like the bitch of it. So we're going to need definitely some shielder. He's got riot bear. Okay, he's got... He's got all three types of barracks. Okay. So what we're gonna need... To rival the slug bat facility, mostly, we're gonna need... an officer barracks. Poison, stop, arrow. Okay. Do I have an officer barracks? Armored Shock Trooper. I have this. Uh, that's gonna cost a bit, though. 
Let's take out the elite security officer. Okay, well, you have riot barracks. You don't have officer barracks. Okay. Okay, let's get... Let's take out the elite for just a regular riot trooper. Uh, aside from the slug rays and the hella trooper, he's got he's got an all right aerial coverage. Take out the elite for some slug rays, though. All right, let's try this. What did I miss? Um, we've just been doing a lot of Fort Condor, honestly. It's a fun little mini game. Easy. It's a fun little mini game. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I summoned a hella trooper. So let's start with an elite one. Summoning a lot of defense. Oh yeah, he has soldier barracks. That's why there's so much. Okay. 
I gotta summon a big boy. Big boy, go. Deploying. Now deploying the big boy. And it's a win anyway. Eat shit, Chadley. Okay. Wedge was harder than you. Thanks to you, my hypothesis has been substantiated. Your hypotheses what now? Substantiated. I was testing security measures against Wutaian espionage operations. By offering a reward, I surmised I could accelerate the rate of adoption, which would, in turn... Yeah, yeah, skip to the end. Uh, skip to the end where they give you my materia? Where you give me my materia? What I to say was this. The money and the materia are yours. Do with them as you please. Did you say materia? So, you're the Grandmaster. Who'd have thunk? Ha, ha, ha. How does it feel, Shinra, to see the whole of Midgar brought to its knees by the amazing Yuffie? <laughs> Your capacity to remain undeterred and overcome adversity is commendable. You are truly a worthy competitor. When I next wish to test a hypothesis, I would be honored if you would agree to kick its butt. Anytime. I like how he just like kind of like he's down for I it. Assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon. Uh, no, I still can't. Drawing? That is. I unfortunately cannot beat Ramu Swawi. I mean. He hoits. He hoits a lot. He hurts my little butt. He hurts my little butt. There's something over here. Something over here. I want it. You don't want to get banked by Grandpappy again. No. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not into that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that restricted area that I totally can't go into because, you know, it sucks. All right. Well, we got all that out of the way. And with some time to Hooray. spare. So we could either continue with the plot or we can try to we could try to get Ramu. The keyword here is that we try to get Ramu. Uh, get it out as your buddy. Yeah, we have a buddy now. We have a friend. We could do this. Ongoing desire to play confirmed. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick PP break. I'm just not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be RB screen, I'm just gonna do a quick potty. I'll be right back. Alrighty. It still makes me so sad that there's such little, there's like, there is exactly zero customization for the chaos side of Space Marines. And, okay, it's not zero. It's, yeah, you, that's can change, you can change color palettes, that's it. But only within the already existing chaos war bands that already take up all the different slots of each class. <sighs> Like the assault is always a coordinate. The sniper's always so a thousand. you can't make chaos clowns? No, no, no. Chaos clowns are a thing. I think you're thinking of Eldar, Polyquins, maybe. I don't know. But no, you can't, you can't change no, any I'm of not. it. Okay. I see what you mean. No, it's just color palettes for each of the other war bands. There's no... I'm thinking of the crazy minis people make. Oh, those, yeah. No, but just changing a color palette to one of the other six, the other five chaos legions they have. Uh, no armors, no cut, no, uh, no like painter, nothing like that. Only that's only for the Space Marines right now. If they do it, if they ever make chaos customization, they should. Everyone wants it. It's 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 setting because you're always a corn berserker as an assault. You're always an iron. You're always an iron warrior, heavies weapons. Always a plague marine bulwark. I don't know. Always a Night Lord Assault Trooper, Jump Pack Trooper, but it, it it's fine. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's fine, but it's like, you know, the you have basically a, a genuine army painter for the Space Marines, but they all say Ultramarine lines. There's no unique lines for that, but every other, all the Chaos side, they all have unique lines because they're based on different legions and worship different gods because they're legions. Is this for PvP? Yes. 
Okay, I could see why then. Uh, well, I don't. I don't see why, because you have pay, you have the customization for one side. Why not the other side? You know, there's not even other weapon skins for the chaos side. They're all. It's all just the default. It's just a different. It's just palette swap. That's it. So I don't get it. In PvP, from a game design standpoint, you want people to be able to immediately recognize what kind of unit you are at a glance, though keeping them color coded makes sense. You can change the colors. It's the, it's the different silhouette. The thing is, every class has its has its own silhouette. That's not that's not changed. I'm talking about armor pieces. Oh, okay. I'm talking about I'm talking about colors. I'm talking about individual colored pieces. Every class is unique. It does have a different silhouette, and they all do different things. And what I'm saying is, I get it for Space Marine. Every Space Marine looks the fucking same. All, the Space Marine armor is standardized, more or less. Right? It's always the same kind of thing. I get it for chaos. Yes, that's dumb. Yeah, I can't all... defend not having weapon skins either way. Yeah, there are no weapon skins for chaos. Only for right now, the space. And this is all just for right now. Hopefully, in the future, they'll give it. But right now, it's really fucking shitty. So maybe I want to play a. Maybe I want to play a chaos. Maybe I want to play like a Corn Berserker who uses a sword and shield or an axe and shield, but there's no chain axes either. There's only chain swords, there's no chain axes. Um, shame. Right, big shame. Um, but like, I don't know. I feel like there's some weird shit because it doesn't. I don't get it. Something, something about it doesn't sit right with me mentally. I'll just. Why? I can't like I can't play an Alpha Legion assault troop. I can't play a, a I can't play a Nurgle um, tactical. I can't play a fucking like Night Lords heavy weapons team. I I don't know. It's every. Uh, yeah. These things all have these models that have these weapons, and they don't have it for this. Hmm? I'm just I'm just complaining about the lack of customization options in Space Marine for the Chaos side of Space Marines for PvP. Uh. All the all the ar different armor pieces you can mix and match, all the different paints you can put on, the patterns, the emblems, the the massive amount of customization is only for Space Marines, not for the Chaos side of things. Which makes no fucking sense, including weapon skins. There's no. There's no other Chaos weapon skins with default at this time. If they're gonna add DLC for that, I'm gonna be pissed, but they probably are. Ugh. Paula. Ugh. The base, the first base marine let you have equal customization on both sides. Cosmic Gala apples are probably the best apples. If you like your apples to apple properly. Cosmic Better than Gala. Granny Smith? I'd say yes. Because Granny Smith is mostly for baking and not eating. And can Fuck be you, too and can and can be too tart. Green Fuck apple. You, it is. No, it literally, that's literally the point. I know, but I eat when them it, anyway. When it comes to Granny Smith, they can be too tart and acidic, and can upset your stomach, because they're meant to be baked. Unless I like the tartness, but yet I eat them as is. Yeah, I find them at times uh, too too sour. Mm -hmm. But again, if you're in for a sour treat, but if you want, I just want an apple. Like, I just want apple. I want the tarty and the sweet. I think Cosmic Gala is probably one of the best ones. 
Hey, look at that. It did work. All, all three of my VODs have been uploaded. Hey, look at that. Hell yeah. Archive. Understood. I'll take this into consideration. I will not. You will not convince me that Granny Smith is not being made to eat by they're, default. They're very yummy. Like, Jester, I think one time he bought, like, the Fuji apples. I don't like those. They're too soft and mushy. Again, these have, like, they have a tarty tang to it that's nice and not too, it's not too sweet. It's an, apple, it, it's an apple that's more apple than sweet. Hmm. That's something. Like, there's still little moments where my face, like, puckers like a, mmm. But then the apple flavor comes in and it's like, oh, yeah. It's an apple that understood the assignment. Fucking juggle, bruh. Okay. Okay. You sure we do? Wind. Okay. I tried my precious. All right. I did. All right. What a shame. It was analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory. All right. I think I know what to do. So what I want is instead so that I can heal myself and him. Now it's synergy. Auto cure. Oh, have this equipped. Here we go. I have one though. Also, I haven't saved. <laughs> Probably should do that. All right, let's try it again. I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon. Actually, hold on. I haven't you upgraded. That is. Let's see. 
Alrighty. We can give him a materia slot. Defense. Alright, that's all we can do right now. Okay, what can we do here? Already gets an attack at the right time to cast barrier. Okay, this one seems to be very magic attacky. Well, could you use mug? Increase the amount of AP earned from enemies. That's good. Mm. Means I can upgrade more often. Increase the amount of time throwing scars can remain aloft. And she seems to be more magic attack oriented, so let's do that. At least this weapon seems to be. <laughs> Hello, Red Miller. Uh, oh my fucking god! You got that's not it, that's not right. You can't tell me that right now. What happened? James Old Jones just passed away. Oh. Oh wow. Ninety-three. Oh, he was old though. But still, uh, I, you, man, I know. But, I know man. It's inevitable. But Mans was the voice of so much of childhoods. Oh yeah. Fuck. If you fuck up with me, I'll just call it Chicago style and serve it anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some levity to break the break out the crippling sadness. No, that's that's still crazy though. That's a damn. That's crazy. Are you damn, that's quite crazy, fucking James Earl Jones. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna punch that person in the throat. <laughs> what world did you stop in cage, Chain Squeaky? Uh, we're in Halloween Town in Chain of Memories. We could give that an additional materia slot. Right, either way. Okay. Ongoing desire to play confirmed. I think we have a much better shot against Ramu with uh with Sonon. I just don't know to what extent. And I feel like we're gonna need a summon at some point. So Ramu's gonna be it. Now that we know he's weak against wind. I want Wind Ninjutsu. Come on. Oh, come on, really? Oh, come on. He casts auto revive and then I because I get stuck. It freaking hurts.
Let's see. Do wind ninjutsu? Apparently not. Oh, sh I probably got hit at the time. Make enemies as simple as staggering. Both Yuthian have ATV charges available. They can perform synergized version of a number slowly when he is synergized. Disengage. Hmm. Come on, though! I can't wait for Ramu to be nowhere near as good as his fight. Right. But for the time being, dang. Yeah, no, seriously. Ramu's no joke, and it's fucking awesome. But he's almost... He's almost unfair, though. He's almost unfair, though, in how much he can just fucking stun you. What a shame. It was I, analyze and learn from your mistakes. I can only assume that you're still not... There must... Maybe more equipment and levels are needed. But there's not a lot of opportunity to fight. 
Yeah, he seems to be dodge heavy, based on how mobile Yuffie is. Dodge heavy. You're withdrawing? That is... Energy, EP up. Chakra, assess, seal. Parry. Faster when guarding. Take less damage. Medium ATB boost when guarding. Also, my girl looks great in game. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Alright, let's... But yeah, story-wise, story story-wise, it's so far not much happening at the moment because, again, like, it was like, hey, freaking play Fort Condor. Hey, do the VR mission. And again, Ramu's not easy. We got pretty fucking far this run around. Okay. Sounds a serious fucking bop though. Oh yeah. I love I love this rendition. I think what's annoying me also about this battle is that when I lose, I have to go through this little talk dialogue. Just ask me if I want a rematch. Just let yeah. me rematch. I don't want to have to go yes. through, oh man, that sucks that you lost. Like, I get it. Let me just, just give me the option to rematch. Let me just cut yeah, the fat. I know it. I know it sucks that I lost. I just lost. Bitch. <laughs> Need 
Come on. Oh, come on. There has to be a way to lessen the amount of damage I get. It's either that or I do have to do some sort of fighting slash grinding, but that's really, really irritating because it makes it seem like I won't be able to come back here. And then I miss out on a summon that the game clearly wants me to have. You guys all set? Let's see. Take all the time you need. <laughs> One second. Oh, Yuffie. Guess what? I'm a player now, too. All thanks to you, you badass. Oh, Yuffie. Guess what? I'm a player now, too. You can always come back later. Okay, that's all I need to know. You guys all set? Okay, streets are kind of a maze, so stay close. So now, where are we headed? To pick up your IDs. There's no way to get topside without them. But I thought TJ was getting our IDs. What happened with that? He is, but those are different. It takes more than one ID, or even two, to survive in this town. Don't forget, Midgar was built by Shinra for Shinra. Those tyrants! Put the claws away, boss. At least while we're in Shinra territory. Whoa! Ooh. So, Yuffie, what do you think of the Undercity? Way too crowded, I can't stand it. Ugh, and the stench. How can anyone live here? Gotta agree with you about the smell, but you get used to it quick enough. And the crowds stop bothering you eventually. The place can grow on you if you give it a chance. Uh, wait a second. Are you actually saying you like it here? I thought you hated it. Midgar isn't the enemy. Shinra is. I know W's don't really see the distinction, but we do. Then what was that stuff on the news? About a reactor blowing up and all. No way that was an accident. It had to be Avalanche. Shh. Sorry. Uh, what's up? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Hmm. Well, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Uh, wait. Where's Cloud? <laughs> we lost him. You what? He will be okay, though, right? Well, of course he will. Okay. Fall ain't gonna stop a hard ass like him. Okay, that gives us some more idea of where we are. Back before long. You mark my words. <laughs> yeah, I guess he will. Now, can we talk about President Shithead? Spouting all that crap about us? That lying son of a bitch! Okay. So Biggs Weshi uh, Weshi. <laughs> okay. So Jesse having the bandage on her ankle, meaning took means this took place sometimes after Seventh Heaven was attacked. 
which means the reason Biggs was here was because he had already finished his job of helping them get into the reactor. And right now, so at the moment Yuffie gets here, Tifa, Barrett, and Cloud are on the mission. And right now, Cloud has been separated and is probably with Aerith. Barrett! Speaking of sons of bitches, I heard that Walmart's very own Don mm -hmm. Corneo has a stooges out looking for you. Huh? Is that so? Tell them. Don't got time for no low level mobsters. We got Shinra in our sights. <laughs> Tifa, you and I both know this is far from over, right? Might as well get some rest while we still can. Right. Hmm. You know what? I think I am going to look into this. Hmm. Good luck out there. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, we've got to assume Shinra's on their tail. Should keep our distance. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Wait till the mask disc. It's fine. No, this is this is just the game's way, the story's way of so you don't interact with them. Yeah. They're like they're saying, they're a, they're avalanche, but they're a splinter cell of avalanche. They don't do things the way avalanche apparently wants them to do it. So I should probably tell them that. People in the splinter cell, they couldn't care less about collateral damage, long as Shinra goes down. So what's wrong with that? Sounds good to me. We're not out to blow Midgar up or tear it down. We want to save it from Shinra. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Whoa. Oh, game. Whoa. What the fuck? Wow. The game just started shitting there. There we go. Look around. Nine out of ten of the people living yeah, here are innocent bystanders. We can't level their home to take down one company. Well, that company almost leveled our home. And they've got to learn their lesson. Yeah, I get that. Gotta admit, I'm surprised you agreed to work with us. We're just doing what we think is necessary to build a brighter future. That's all there is to it. In other words, you're working with us, so we don't Yuffie, work with your old where buddies. Are you going? Knowing what would happen if we did. Uh, can we table this for later, maybe? Not sure now's the best time for heavy topics. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Consider it tabled. Hmm. <laughs> I just take it for the sake of taking it. It doesn't let me really get any secondary equipment, which is dumb. Just, um, gift box. Oh. Let me pick up all this stuff, though. Cac star! A throwing star for Yuffie that happens to be shaped like a cactuar. Can be wielded in intermission. That's hey. great. I love it. Pack star. I was like, wait a minute, like, let me go back in here for a second. Uh. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, what does that one do though? Let the shuriken run around, mowing down all enemies it touches. Oh, it runs around like a cat. It runs around. Oh, it runs God. like a cat. Can you just want airborne? Oh, that's great. That's fucking. That's awesome. fucking. Oh hell yeah! I gotta get this fucking skill first. Before I can switch to it, it kind it has pretty good material slots. Okay, that's wicked. All right, um, ninja that's armlet. Let's see. Fucking dumb, but awesome. These don't really do anything for me, but maybe something like this does. Well, these Avoid DLC incapacitation I once per battle does not work against death attacks when HP is at one percent. Mako crystal. Oh, I. When damage taken, I can use that. Enter battle with the auto life status effect. Maybe uh, that, oh, that, that material, the Mako 
Does it say lightning too, or was yeah, it just... yeah? I was thinking of using this. Mm. So we can. I mean, lightning. and then enter the battle with an auto life status effect. He had like when when I die, if he's alive, it kills him. So if this works the way I think it does, then it'll maybe maybe I, maybe maybe I can have him automatically come back every time he kills himself. Um, also, now I can bring a fucking summon. So I can either do Carbuncle, which heals and supports. Diamond Dazzle. I still hate how they made him just off billboard. Roll deals, deals fixed damage. Ultimate attacks, 10,000 needles. Choco Chick. Chocobo Chick is good, because he can also I can also make it do wind damage. Which is good for Ramu. And Choco Flare is not elemental yeah. magic damage. It'll just oh. do... Mm -hmm. No. Aids and supports. It might do barrier, but I don't know. Also just heals. Okay, it does do barrier. But barrier is only good for physical. You need... Okay. So it's got another one for magic. Uh... Right now we don't have a support caster, so we might... I might want to give this. Might want to give this to Sonon. And for now, give Yuffie Chocobo Chick. And then we can probably use a summon against Ramu. But we'll we'll keep going forward for now. So, what exactly does this ultimate materia do? I'm guessing you have big plans for it? Like after we steal it? Well, the more materia you have, the stronger you are, right? So once we've got the ultimate materia, we'll be stronger than anyone. I guess you will. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! Uh, what materia is she after again? I can't even remember what we it actually we, is. We don't know, she just keeps saying the ultimate materia. She hasn't said what it is, but I can probably assume it's probably the dark, the black materia. Yeah. But I don't think Shinra has that. She's just been told that Shinra totally has it. Sure is. See that one? Well, hello there, hot stuff. How'd you like a shot at the big time? With those looks, I guarantee you're golden. So what do you say? Ready to be queen of the Undercity? Hey! What am I? Chop liver? <laughs> the kid doesn't need to hear this. You'll be a good girl and cover your ears, okay? You'd be living and working in the most luxurious residence in all you of Walmart. You want me to be one of Corneo's brides, is that it? I mean, Which makes valid. Which a person of influence, right? Oh, so you know your stuff. But I'd say I'm more of a helping hand. So why don't you help me help you? Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me. Now don't go playing hard. <laughs> 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 know any kids who can do that? No, you don't, because I'm an adult. <laughs> also, I'm pretty hot stuff myself, thank you very much. <laughs> sure, whatever helps you sleep at night, little girl. But... If you want to pull up a seat at the grown-ups <laughs> table, be my guest. Synergized Art of War, Synergized Windstorm. Is this the... 
Yeah. You won't know what hits you. All over it. There we go. Now we can switch our. Now we can switch to our funny cat to our star. Throwing an armlet. Yeah. Hey, at least you try. You're gonna eat those words, you smug piece of shit. Boss, huh? boss, you're not gonna believe this. Mm -hmm. The hottie of the century just fell right into our lap. She did? <laughs> Goods under the hood, junk in the trunk, oh, and down for a bumpy ride. Uh... Sorry, ladies, but after careful consideration, and we've decided right to go with a more too. qualified applicant. Let's go! See you around. Oh, and that was Tifa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So who were those creeps anyway? John Corneo's talent scouts. Okay, so let's see. What did we just pick up? We picked up a... Uh... Okay. Ooh. It's got an additional thing. Grants preternatural strength when paired with sex rays, Goju Drive, or Mezu Drive. Well, I don't huh. have that, so. But it gives me a materia yeah. slot. So we. Let's see. Magnify healing, steadfast block, first strike. We. Harry. Do that for the stats. What about you, Stone on so on? Oh, of course. Can I, can give, I can give him the ninja. Actually, yeah, it gives him an additional one. I can give him the ninja one. It gives him less defense though. Trade offs. Yeah. Give them more magic defense. He doesn't have a lot of magic defense, so I'll give him the ninja armlet. That gives him an additional thing. Provoke on the enemy's attention when teammates are severely injured. Ineffective against powerful enemies will not activate players controlling the character, which you can't control so known. So, um, he doesn't really use items. Mm, let's see. And give him chakra so he can heal himself for once in a while. Okay. Right now he just needs more materia slots. And then Swirling Storm is his thing. They'll say and do just about anything to get unsuspecting girls back to the Don's mansion. I thought it looked seedy. Guess you'd have to be a scumbag to build a place like that. Oh ho! And how do you know what it looks like? I saw it while I was scouting the area. Alrighty. Well, we're here. Now we just have to wait. Wait for who? Not sure. We used to have someone who could make fake IDs in house, but they went off with the splinter cell. We've never dealt with this particular vendor before. Hey, uh, what's up with that guy? Mako poisoning. That's what happens if you don't make the grade as a soldier. Or when the military's done using you. Just another one of Shinra's victims. Them again? Oh, Shinra's so gonna get it. If it's Shinra, you've uh -huh. got the friend. You'll be needing these. Can't access the plate without him. <laughs> They're gonna scan for those things on the train, so make sure to keep them on you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hold up! <clears throat> Try it. You'll love it. <laughs> ah! 
foreigners and their weak jaws. We should probably <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your material while you still can, Shinra, because we're coming. Not yet, boss. Huh? With things the way they are, we can't just go strolling up to the front gates. We're gonna need Avalanche to help us bypass security before we can do anything. Aww. Okay, so they're not, qu yeah, they're not quite Avalanche. These guys. Nope. All right, good. Some Wu Tai people, I guess. Yeah, no, they they seem to definitely be like people from Wu Tai or affiliated with Wu Tai, and they want to work with Avalanche, but they don't want to work with Barrett and Tifa, because they're, no, they're they do things differently, and they don't like that. That one's number forty nine. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna equip the cactar or? Hold on, I just want to see what he says. I think. Yeah, I just wanted to hear what he said. He says reunion. All right, boomerang. Now that we've gotten this one, we've gotten this one. Let's get the funny, the funny cactus. Okay, so it's gonna lower a couple things. It's gonna lower a bit of our magic attack, but that's fine because we should be able to bring it back up. The cactar. He looks so funny. Alrighty. If it has magic attack capabilities, we can probably bring it back. But let's see what we can do here. Max Pretty HP, rough, max baby. MP, AP, crit root, crit boost. ATB charge rate. That Ooh. would be good. And MP charge rates. Yeah. Ooh. I like this because it means that she can do more things. MP regeneration boost. Slightly increases MP regeneration speed during battle. Okay. We can give her more HP. Max MP plus five. Crit damage. She usually has pretty okay luck. Crit hit, crit hit rate, crit damage. Let's up her... Let's up her crit rate. And then up her crit damage. All right. Oh, you see the little materia slots are in the eyes and mouth. Yeah. Kindred cord. What the fuck is that? The accessory. Bracelet made of woven fabric representing the bonds of friendship. It's an accessory. Reduces ATV cost for synergized abilities. Ooh. Okay. We might consider it. about <laughs> change of plans go to the pillar we'll explain there hurry huh? gg change of plans the s7 pillar otherwise known as the roof of the slums follow me Catchy. Guys. and obvious why does he need us to hurry He's having some crazy frame rate issues this. Well, if you ask me, it's high time things picked up around here. You like living in the fast lane, huh? Yeah, I'm not your garden variety, Wutayan. I'm a rare bloom. More like a mutant. Ooh, I'm so gonna use that. <laughs> I like how they're giving Yuffie more character. Yeah. By making her actually kind of likable. Talking to you. Answer me. Well, uh, uh, look, a Moogle. Uh, hmm? <laughs> Stop! We gotta help. You two.
two go after Gigi. I'll head back and tell the others what happened. That way. Boss, we might not be back for a while. Best to stop oh. leaving. God damn it. And that's the game telling me to go do shit. Okay. We have to hurry out here, but boss, we should take our time. We might need to stock up on supplies. We might need to stock up on supplies and fight Ramu. Haha. Uh -huh. I mean. Okay, there is a weapon. Not? There is a weapon store around here. Oh, okay. Maybe I can get something for Sonon for later. Okay, accessories, weapons, armor. What can I give to Sonon to help him out right away? Rune armlet. Uh, not a lot here. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah. Okay, armor. No weapons. Sagged. Yeah, it's kind of sucks. Geometric. Supreme. No. You got no weapons, bruh. You're a weapon store with no <laughs> weapons. What do you mean? Give me some phoenixes, though. Sorry, we don't have the ability for you to buy weapons for your party members in this not actually the game game. Please buy a reunion to buy actual weapons. Alright. Hooray. We did a crumb of plot. Please let please let me beat Ramu. Hactar will see us through. Maybe having a summon or two already on lock. I just want to beat Ramu. He looks so cool. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, so he only gets one free revive. That's fair. All right. What a shame. It was analyze and learn. That was definitely a really good. That was definitely a good, a good one. Yeah, because you just got to find those yeah. windows of opportunity and then you're golden. Yeah. yeah. You're getting it. Yeah.
Look at you. All right. Be right back. Need to restart for a thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. See how what good Carbuncle does for us. Looks so cute. Boy, his head's so fun. Dance of the Dragon. That was the worst. Not He's almost dead. Fuck. Sorry, I can't get material to foreigners. <laughs> now can I now can I see your work permit? Faster than lightning. And with the Lord of Leaven on your side, your enemies will struggle to keep up. You did it. Hell yeah. You have a problem, move. 
fucking about time. All right, so Carbuncle didn't really do anything. <laughs> well, it did damage. It I'm did gonna, heal. It, it, I, it, think. It, I think it healed. I, I'm not sure what it did, but we'll keep Carbuncle for now. Um, what am I gonna do with, with you? Synergy? Yeah, but I have to link it with something, and he doesn't have. Well, eight will watch the AP up. Yeah, I just I need I need him to get another materia so that I can start moving shit around because these two these guys don't need to be linked. We'll figure it out, but it's fine. All right. Now that we've got now that we've got that squared away, we've got about another forty minutes before we have to consider stopping for Zelda. So now where is? All right, we got to go down here. Oh, wrong way. Hello, frame rate. What the fuck is going on with this thing? Yeah, I, I don't know. Indurate staff. Okay, so that's no something frame. for him. Uh, right now he needs to still get Swirling Storm, but this gives Fighting Spirit. Continue targeting a single enemy to deal increase. Finish off an enemy while this ability is active. Okay. Good to know. Got nowhere to run. Tell us what you know. Now! <laughs> How about later? I'm not stupid. <sighs> hey! After him! Oh! Talk about fast! Is he one of us? We don't have time to get into that, boss. You can ask him yourself once he's safe. Come on. Hey. Oh, wait, that goes up. Fuck. We got grid. I'll give you that. Piece of shit. He's toying with us. Is some kind of factory or something? It reminds me of a place I passed through when I first got here. And if it's anything like that, it'll be crawling with monsters. God, she does it too. Fucking Christ. Alright. Uh. You think when the voice had told, hey, do the jingle, and they all been like, finally. I've been finally, waiting. I get. <laughs> I've been waiting after, th after 27 years. You think if so, Barrett and you fear the same group, and they're both gonna do it like harmonize it? Oh, that'd be <laughs> funny. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs>
sweeper ranged obtained. What's that mean? Oh, it's it's a this. It's a it's a thing. It's a thing for this. Oh, uh, okay. I what was it again that I picked up? It was something ranged. Uh. Oh, okay. It was this. I picked up a sweeper. All right. Uh, for anything. So welcome back. We have Ramu now. We got the thing. Sorry. Damn it. We oh, I missed you winning. Ones. Yes. Unfortunate. I've been looking for you. The hell? I'm gonna go to town on these jerks. Congrats, though. Yeah. There's a materia down there. Bet I can finish them off first. No way! You're going down! How do you like this? Got the right where I want ya! Gotcha! There we go. I can give him his other, his new, his new thing. Materia. Mm. That'll be good. Uh, okay, so known. Let's give you this now. Battle staff capped with iron ingots, heavily, heavy enough to shatter bone. Then fighting spirit. All right. So now we can give him more materia. We can move these. And then we can do... Uh, I don't know how often we'll need wind. But we'll do it. And give him synergy. Because I can't use a bit I can't control him anyway, so I'll be mostly doing stuff with Yuffie. And if Yuffie's doing her abilities, then he does something as well. 
So that will be good. And then I think, I think I will give him uh, I'll give him prayer. Alrighty, let's see. Got that. Okay, let's go the other way. Go back. Reminds me. Upgrade his weapon. Let's see what we've got for him. Yep, it's definitely. It's definitely attack. Luck plus saying this, but after what happened back home, I just kind of assumed no one in Avalanche could be trusted. Like, they were all the same as the ones I fought. Yeah, I can imagine. But it looks like Avalanche has changed a lot since that went down, huh? You have guns, guys. Why haven't you shot them yet? back and a high potion Defeating the others will make it susceptible to staggering cover HP by cannibalizing members of its pack. Oh, wow.
in a Gozu drive. Mm. Alrighty. That usually works when equipped with something. Right, I think it was the ninja, not the ninja armlet. Yeah. Fit it when one with the accessories Gozu or Mezzo drive. The Maku Crystal did kind of come in clutch with Ramu. It did kind of um get rid of some of his lightning stuff. It rendered me immune at times. Increases damage dealt proportional to character's current HP. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, what items say, hey, combining with this item. Yep. Thank you for the snuggle and the head gallon, din din. Oh, this is another weapon. Oh, hi there, Din Din. Steel Reaper. That's an edgy name. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Banishment. Edgy weapon. ATB spent on other commands increases damage dealt. Affinity works with ninjutsu. Yeah, Din Din's been here for a while. Works in the air. Strike an enemy with maximum strength while this ability is at level three. Ah, oh, but it's a it, it, it's a hit to like fucking uh, slots, but that ability could be really good. Mm. But Din has a reactive for Final Fantasy and everything. Yeah. yeah. Again, you know, you, you the, the the key the key the key to Din Din is to not force. That's Din Din. That Din Din. That Din 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 Din. Hmm. 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 I couldn't relate, I don't use headsets unless I'm audio editing. I'm just over here getting reshade going after moving my mouse settings over. Yeah. Done, though. I wasn't expecting to. I thought this was gonna lead me towards an item. Hold on. I wasn't looking for forward progression.
he. No one knows but my nose. Okay, so this leads wherever this is, which is probably, okay. All right, well, let's go back. You good to help me with Penumbra later? Uh, I can try. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember how you get Penumbra. Okay. Cause when I, cause when I transferred to my computer, I kind of already had it from like the drive. Um, but I don't think it's hard to get. I think you just, um, you have to go get through, like, GitHub. I'd bug Zara, but she's in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. She is. Alright, hold on, I gotta... Okay, first thing you have to get is Dalamood. So do you have Dalamood? Because without that, you can't use Penumbra. Alright, hold on. There we go, there's the Oh, other we one. can worry about it later, but I can grab that, yes. Yeah. Well, if I'm remembering correctly, if you give me just a quick second. Uh... Let me just, uh... Uh... How do I... Here we go. Okay, one moment. Assassin board three, that's another thing. Mercy, mercy! Grab. 
Wrath Hound. Okay. Weakness is ice. Weakness is ice. Good to know. I feel like they could they could have made it cuter without that huge fucking without such a big forehead. Have physical, have magic, increase rate of things. Okay, it does do a heal. So if I'm remembering, that's not what I wanted. Here's the website for it, Lynn. I think this will help you um, in terms of getting it. Because I think this is what will tell you here. Um, I, I can't remember how quite to install it. Um, but I can after you get it in. Alrighty. Thank you kindly. Yeah, after that, I can... I can. Uh, um, I have the, the version of your enhancements. Um... I have a version of some of your enhancements so that uh, Dawn Trail, so that they work, they're compatible with Dawn Trail. And then uh, depending on uh, when Zelda finishes, which I don't work till noon tomorrow, so I can stay up a little late to help you set all that up. Yee yee. And then we can both okay. be, and then we can both be beautiful. And I'll even maybe, yeah. and I'll even send you mine if you want me to, so that you can. Uh, Cause I ha I have I know I have the enhancements for for Kijo, but if you want the enhancements for mine, then I can pass you that. It used to be one um one thing, but uh some of the mo some of the enhancements that I used, um, got an updated version for Dawn Trail that I couldn't quite figure out. Um, uh, long story short, essentially, um, my enhancement pack for Polo, um, some parts of it didn't work anymore. Um, and I had to find a, a new enhancement, but it works either way because she doesn't have that patch of scales on her forehead. So um, I had to find the person who yeah, originally. Yeah, a fair bit of Kijo 
is also broke. Yeah, so, um, yeah, but text tools has a thing that allows you to make a, that allows you to, to take certain enhancements and make a Dawn Trail ready version of it. Um, and text tools actually is going to be getting an update at some point that makes it so that you can actually, um, have it going on at the same time as the game. But, um, my, my polo pack, uh, the, 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 the enhancement that takes away the heckin' head patches, um, the person created a new one, but it's in a different file, so I don't know how to combine them, like I used to with, like, my polo pack. Um, and then they, there's also a version of, like, the lighter scales, but it actually conflicts with the forehead scales. But the, the difference between the lighter scales and the, nor and the new Aura scales aren't that big of a difference. But yeah. I'll show you all that jazz later. All right, let's see how we're doing this. Fucking playing spider. Not a lot of benches for us to freaking rest at. Okay. Just leave us alone, will ya? Ow. Damn it. getting fucking pounded though hey about what you said earlier which was about avalanche how it's changed oh that these people are too soft but those splinter cell guys they sound like the ones we should have teamed up with don't you think yeah i guess so i feel bad for complaining considering all they've done for us i know what you mean though they're all just really good people huh and that's the problem. Midgard doesn't need good people. <laughs> Not that we care what happens to it. Oh. Right. Okay, interesting. Sus of you to say so, known just a little bit. Little bit. I'm sitting here like. No, because again, the, the like. He's pretty much saying we should have teamed up with Barrett because yeah. they're they're like their Barrett's whole thing is <laughs> stop Shinra What's by it? blowing up the reactors. But apparently, actual avalanche is like, no, that's too violent. I'm sitting here like, since when? That leads to too much collateral damage. That's too violent. Now, with Wutai, yeah, they don't care about Midgar. Pretty Gar clearly wants to try and do a fucking world takeover shit. Yeah. So why would they give a fuck? I'm saying like, is Avalanche? What? I'm gonna say like, what's happened to Avalanche? I thought they were like. Well, here's the thing. In the original they game, were actually, they were mm -hmm. genuinely eco terrorists, right? So. Yeah. In the in the original, Avalanche was just Barrett's ragtag group of extremists. 
They yeah. weren't much else besides that, but in this one, they seem to be a more of an actual unit. A unit that hopes their, their version of the brass not being too happy about it. Yeah. Okay, one which second. Is, which is baffling my dumbass. Like, They've made them Barrett, a more, they've made them a more organized terrorist organization. Barrett seems to still very much well believe in the cause that Avalanche is purporting, purporting but he's like, but I'm gonna do it my way. What's your way? Explosions. Essentially, my way is blowing it the fuck up. Yeah, like I said, they're they're genuinely eco terrorists, but I guess Barrett's leadership apparently has issues with that. Yeah. You want that material, that little item on the ground, don't you? Yeah, it's material. Yeah, I do too. I mean, if you go forward, is there no... I guess it doesn't give you back there, does it? Again, I gotta... It's, it's just figuring out the... Okay. Okay. Is there no other switch around here? Did I miss a box? You throw a wall on an item on on a thing? No. Okay, hold on. Wait, what's wait, what is up? Oh Okay. Oh. Let's hit that switch. Barrett is like, listen, I hear you, I feel you, but y'all are way too soft and waiting isn't an option for us. Yeah. The planet's dying. A function that we're doing this now. Yeah, Nayo is pretty much saying that they're too, they don't, that the splinter cell of Avalanche doesn't care elemental materia. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... So what Na what Nayo is saying is that un unfortunately Barrett's um, team of Avalanche um, is too violent and doesn't care about collateral damage. But apparently Barrett is also able to sway people to his side because the person that used to help actual Avalanche get fake IDs decided to work with Barrett. They they said it yeah. earlier with the fake IDs like oh we're working with yeah. a different. We're working with a different person now because our, our our previous person decided to join the Splinter Cell. Yeah. Okay. Barrett's charismatic. All right. It, it, people who are it. passionate are infectious. Yeah, there's still something over here. It helps that he's right. Yeah, that too. It's... Yeah, again, we don't know we don't know how actual av this actual avalanche seems to work, but again, they don't seem to be getting as much results as Barrett is. But apparently they're very no, don't blow up the reactors, that's bad. They just want they're they're just trying to stop Shinra. Barrett's trying to stop them from destroying the planet. Yeah. Alrighty. I feel it's because Avalanche doesn't want to get rid of the Mako reactors anymore. It doesn't seem like that's what they wanted to do in general. They just wanted to pose Shinra. Yep. They don't seem to think they don't seem to think anything's wrong with the reactors. It's just we don't like that Shinra's in charge of everything. Waste disposal plant. Fuck that, you're a nerd. Very quiet. As quiet as they can't afford to wait for better circumstances. Giving Shinra time is a bad idea. They're looking at climate change and Barrett isn't up for lib shit. I saw that fucking mouse. I can't wait for a Sonon to fucking turn on us and be like, you little dumb fucking brat. 
You dumb fucking brat! It's fine, you got this. Yeah. Alright. You're stupid, but make up for it by actually being really good at cleanup. of fucking we're not getting any benches to rest constructed I mean a note from Jija well, let's see what it says. Conveyor belt passes through storage, break containers with shuriken, screw over Shinra, get to it. Operate the conveyor belt. Checkpoint updated. The conveyor belt up ahead will take you through a storeroom filled with small, medium, and oversized. Use your weapon to break them apart and stick it to the man. Item gets, yay. Weapon hit an obstacle. Hey. Come on. I love physics. <sighs> it's a lot of shit obstructing the way. There we go. Seen the G mod physics going. Yep. Yeah, big one. Oversized me. It's a. It's its own middle. It's its own mini game. That's really funny. Me. This is gonna give us a bench. It gave us one. And I'm just hoping it gives us a good one so I can call it there at a, like a good Don't fair spot. That run. Yep.
magic up. a maintenance facility, but it looks more like an arms factory to me. Let's keep it tight, boss. We can't afford any more mistakes. Gigi's life depends on it. Understood. Materia, 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 materia. Hey, a bench. <laughs> hey. Hey. Alright, what we got here? Mega potion. I'll take those because they're discounted. Alrighty, we're getting into the, the nitty gritty of things. Let's just quickly see what we can grab here real quick. Nothing. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna... The benches are hard, Yuffie. That's gotta hurt your ass. All right, we are going to call it here for now. So so far, it's um, oopsies. So far, I actually really am not minding uh, integrate um, intermission too much. Um, it is at first a uh, very mini game heavy. Quite charming. Yeah, it's it's very cute. Um, now. Yuffie is very fun to play. She is very all over the place. I would say people that really enjoy Tifa and how quick and button mashy she is will love Yuffie. Um, she is very fast. She might not hit hard, but her whole thing is hitting a lot. Um, Sonon, uh, he seems okay right now. I get that we're not gonna be able to really control him. I'm already a little bit sus of him in that the, he in like the, the things that he just said. Um But it seems like this little faction that we've got here again is a little pro Wu Tai faction that's like in Midgar that is trying to work with Avalanche, but it wants to work with actual Avalanche. It doesn't want to work yeah. with Barrett. But Sonon seems to be of the idea of we don't we're Wu Tai. We don't give a fuck about Midgar. Why not team up with the faction that says blow they it all up? They want to work with the Weight and the Branch. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Wu Tai actually wants to work with the Weight and Sea Branch, while Sonon here is like, why can't we work with the blow it all up? We don't give a shit about Midgar anyway. But um, either way. Uh, I'm, I'm a little sus about him. I'm going to assume that he is either going to betray us or he is going to die. Um, and I feel like this DLC might end when the plate comes Yuffie down. Yuffie is pretty big on why not work with the splinter cell? Why should I care? Yeah, Yuffie also seems to be kind of in that way. But even like, again, while Sonon was talking, she was kind of like, yeah, like, even though she's only been here for a little bit, she she kind of likes the people she's met so far. Um, whereas Sonon, again, is being like, we don't care about the people here. Um, but I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. I feel like I, I feel like the this is this uh, DLC is probably going to end with the fall of the plate, because at the moment now, Tifa is heading towards Don Corneo and the wall market is happening. Like Cloud meeting Aerith, yeah. how, them going through all of that and then the wall market stuff is happening. I feel like the plate falling down is a good point for this DLC to end and for Yuffie to be like, what the fuck? Or I still think there's a good shot Yuffie picks up Biggs. Maybe. Um, I also think, again, if not the plate falling, I'll be I'll be a little bit surprised if it doesn't end at the plate falling because again that's a good spot to to solve it, to 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 end it. But I also because at the same time it's like the plate falls, Yuffie, like what are you going to do? 
to which she could probably be like, I need to leave. And that explains why you find her outside. It's a good spot for Yuffie to get trauma and fuck off. Yeah. It's a good spot for her to decide to fuck off that this is too big for one ninja to do, or just a couple, and she flees back to Wutai. And you meet her outside of Midgar. Because that's where you meet her in the original. You meet her outside of Midgar. Um, and now that we're leaving Midgar, we haven't ran into Yuffie. So I'm assuming in, re in Rebirth that we find her outside. And it's like, why would she be outside? Why did she leave? What caused her to leave? I mostly feel like she basically has to figure out that the split her cell is being set up. Yeah. Um... We'll see though. I, I'm 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 very, very curious as to where it's going to go. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, Ramu was bullshit, but we did it anyway. Um, so we will be back next Monday to hopefully finish this. I, I will say the the Fort Condor stuff um, and 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 fighting Ramu did take up about half of this. Or she doesn't, and yeah. you have to fight her later because she's real pissed with you for dropping the plate. Yeah, we don't know. Um, we'll we'll see where this where where this all fits in, but um, yeah, we I I feel like because half of the stream was doing Fort Condor and fighting um, Ramu because that's what it seemed like the game wants you to do. Again, you get a lot of money, which means you get stuff, and like again, the Ramu materia. I feel like there's gonna be at least one big boss here where having Ramu is gonna be really helpful. Yay, um, stuff. It, it seems like it's something that the game pushes you to do. And the fact that you go around the overworld and you still find pieces, like Fort Condor pieces, is, is, is interesting. Um, but yeah, we will, we will be heading out. Next Monday, we'll be hopefully finishing this, if not just going through it more. Um, what did I just see just now? What is this? <gasps> what was it? Wait. Was there a school shooting at my high school? What? <gasps> oh, fuck me. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, well. Sorry for that. Um I I was I mean like, I knew there was one I, in Georgia on literally the first I, day. I was So I, I I saw like a random message from my brother and I'm like, that's weird. He almost never messages me. And it said school shooting at local New Jersey high school, and I'm like, no. Oh my god. Um either way. Uh Okay, fuck. I'm, I'm gonna have to take a look at that article later. Um, next Monday, <laughs> more, more, more intermission. Uh, heckin' Saturday, we will be back with some more Yakuza Like a Dragon. And Sunday, if Lynn is up for it, um, it doesn't matter whether we've started it already or are just kind of in the middle of things. We might, um, we might do some, we might do some Dawn Trail or I'll just hop back into, uh, hop back into, into Dot Hack. I'll see how, how Very much Heckin' down. feeling. Yeah. Um, we're going to be taking, if we do do Dawn Trail on Sunday, it's going to be wherever the hell we're at. Like, Dawn Trail is not going to be a specific, a stream specific thing. We want to enjoy it. So you'll get Dawn Trail wherever we're at, whether we've already started it, just starting it. it we're free balling Dawn Trail. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I will see you all later. Um, I think we are going to pass a raid along to, let's see who's streaming right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got we've got we've got quite a couple of pepperonis here, actually. Um. Yeah, we do. Yeah, like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. My my frick uh, the the seven remake streams have been like the worst in terms of turnout. So I'm actually a little bit surprised here. Um, I think. <laughs> We're gonna raid Seggy. Seggy's raided us a couple times. He's a great bean. For people who don't know, he plays Skarn in Nat 19's Gilligan's Grave. Heckin... Uh, Heckin, the the stream link will be a uh, gremlin raid. Just uh, for, for Yuffie. 
gremlin raid. Uh, he plays the one tall guy who is always done with everything. Yes. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put a little dancey in there. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna be raiding into Segi. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.